what you heard? There's a strange wanderer near Wolvendom. Really? I haven't heard about that. I haven't been in Mondstadt in many moons. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. It's been so long. I've actually been looking forward to this for over a month. I really want to edit videos again. I really want to record videos and we haven't recorded a voiced story in what feels like a million years. So, very happily, I can feel the wind of freedom back in my hair. <laughs> Let's get started with this quest right here. Also, I saw the Sealies are back, so we're gonna do one of these. I haven't done an event like this in forever. Wow, 11-11. Roses and muskets. Four days and 11 hours left. The Steambird reports that Fontanians have been in lively spirits lately. At Paimon's suggestion, you come to the festival venue where you have a chance to encounter with a certain acquaintance as the curtains rise on this wonderful experience. So, as you can see, there's Ayaka with a gun. <laughs> she mad as well. Then there's Chevreuse. I've said this before, Chevre means goat. So she's Godi, Paimon, Farina, and for the longest time, I thought this was Sara. Apparently it's not. I don't know who it actually is. I also didn't play Go to Quest like a numbnut, so I'm gonna put my sunglasses of shame on and uh, let's go. Sorry, <laughs> before we move on, I wanted to thank you so much because last video I asked for some likes and comments so that the video would, you know, be pushed out a bit more. You guys didn't just deliver a little bit. You did, you're incredible. Thank you so much for that. It, it carries me so incredibly hard, you do not realize, so. Thank you, and Happy New Year. Let's make it a great one. Oh, what a cute song, do you hear that? Kinda cute, kinda cute. Okay, so the crack of muskets breaking the silence. During the Font... Font... Fontine... During the Fontinalia festival, children carry baskets and head up and down the streets, asking for candies. Oh, it's Halloween. As you roam the vibrant festive streets, you might just meet some familiar faces. There's also a recipe that you get from this. We'll figure out what that is, I'm sure, in due time. And if I don't, whoops. Oh, look at how cute. There's a bunch of little stalls and stuff. I had no idea this is what it would be like. Okay, cool. Very cool. Tell me, Paimon, what are we here for? Just like, get laid on me. Oh, Mr. oh Morris, not Savior. I don't understand, sir. How can you only be telling me this now? Not Savior, the film <laughs> producer. I'm afraid that there's nothing really I Maurice? can do. I'm really facing a crisis. My hands are tied. Oh no. But what about my film? <laughs> well, I'm afraid you have to come up with something on your own. Take it Sorry, man. Sometimes you just have to let things go. The same, same Liwa. goes for this film festival. And, you know, in Liwa, there's contracts. When you sign them, you're bound to them. Right here? Listen, this is Fontaine. It was a free country. <laughs> He's just leaving. Later, idiot. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Hey, isn't that Xavier? It is Xavier. Back in now. He is back in Fontaine. I can't believe they say Xavier instead of Xavier, but then they say Fontaine Fontaine. Oh, why, if it isn't the dear traveler and Paimon. Yeah, 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 that's me. I really didn't expect to bump into you here at this time. Have you really not? It's been a while, what's up? Well, I was doing just fine mm -hmm. until oh, I received some already. terrible news just now. I want to hear how they say it. The investor I was it. working with for my upcoming film has fallen upon some hard times and oh, no. is no longer able to provide the promised amount of funds. Ah, uh, the funding thing again, huh? Can't you just find a different investor? It's always the funding thing in Fontaine. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Really? We had signed an agreement specific to the Fontanalia Film Festival. Okay. Stipulating that I cannot work with any other investors until the festival is finished. But if they are dropping you, you can drop them, no? The Fontanalia Film Festival? What's that? It's a film festival, but from Fontaine Fontanalia. Oh, is this your first time participating in Fontaine's Fontanalia Film Festival? I'm not festival? participating with anything. Then allow me to fill you in. Lovely. The Fontanalia Festival Getting was filled in by established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights. Oh. We went on a quest to Goldilocks. search for the Oceanids. Uh-huh. And eventually welcomed the Hydro Arconigeria. Who hates traitors. Uh, the holiday is deeply connected to the founding of Fontaine. Okay. As well as its unique laws and trials. It's one of the most important festivals for this nation. Napoleon ass hat over there. Expression on your face. It's like you're trying really hard to remember something. <laughs> I don't really know my lore anymore. Uh, I Ding. was just trying to recall the exact description from the books uh -huh. uh, in order to avoid any uh, unnecessary arguments over semantics. Yeah. yeah. I usually try to recite things straight from the source. That's like what you need to do on social media. Well, either way, Pyra Vichy gets it now. It's just like the <laughs> Windbloom Festival in Mondstadt and the Lantern Right in Lewis. 
There's no way this is as big as the lantern, right? There's no yes, way. Yes, those are festivals of a similar variety. Uh huh. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good festival? Yeah, and true. Just like those of other nations, I don't. Fontaine will hold a plethora of events around this time each year. I kind of like being by myself, where I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm an introvert. To commemorate the Lock Knights, the People Lock Knights will imitate them by putting on special costumes, uh -huh. raising golden cups, and okay. going door to door asking for pure water. It's not candy; it's pure water. But a few years ago, Lady Farina started ah. to find the whole idea okay. of well, drab, there's and that. so decided to change the part about pure water to sweets. Lovely. Really doesn't surprise Paimon at all. Yeah, me neither. The whole thing seems more akin to a carnival now. Cute. And it's quite popular among the kids. It's smart. Every year you can hear a bunch of them saying, trial or treat. <laughs> it is Halloween. <laughs> trial or treat. Oh, that sounds pretty fun. Should be treat or trial. How does that connect back to the film festival you mentioned? Um, right. Yeah, how does that? Ah, yes, uh, it appears I've strayed off topic. Indeed. <laughs> I just got too excited I was absorbed by the story, you. though. Let me get back to the point. Stop talking about excited when seeing me, filling me in, all this weird stuff. Stop it. I see you. The Fontanalia Film Festival is an event proposed by the Fontaine Film Association this year. Yeah. Now that film technology has matured as a medium, it's the perfect time to introduce more people to the art form. What is this, like a cat camera? During this time, people may submit films to be evaluated, mm. and the entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award. Oh, by not the, the Farina, not the Farina Award. The what award? You heard it. <laughs> the Farina Award. <laughs> you know, after the Hydro Archon, uh -huh. they coined it while Lady Farina was still in power. But, yeah. Uh, even Cute though lamp. things have changed, no one has made any motion to update the name. Yeah, people still like the Archon. Perhaps everyone still thinks of it as a pretty appropriate name. Yeah. Even though she isn't the Hydro Archon any longer, yeah. Lady Farina is still Fontaine's superstar. Right. Anyone with eyes can see the way she shines on the stage. She is a top-notch actor. Even Nur thinks so. Oh yeah, she she has great taste like water. I love water. He's gone. Huh. All right. Guess the name does work pretty well when you put it that way. Of course. Oh, but who would have guessed there'd be an issue with the funny? <laughs> How will I ever explain this to Miss Chiori? I don't Not know. to say all the other actors who traveled all the way here from Inazuma. Oh, it's so painful. Chiori? Uh, sounds familiar. Where have we heard that name before? Wow, really? She runs the clothing store in a Coral Fontaine, Sharia Boutique. Yeah, I remember that. I don't remember this. Yes, that's her. I asked her to oversee the event's art direction, including the design of the actor's costumes and appearances. Even more costs that you oh, can't cover? Oh, remembers now. Navia said that her clothes were designed by Chiori. Really? Re I don't remember Navia saying that at all. That's so cool. How to describe They should totally her. get us a new uh, fit. Well, she tends to be pretty direct uh -huh. and can be very forceful when it comes to dealing with people. <laughs> uh -huh. The fashion world in Fontaine has uh -huh. dubbed her the thundering seamstress. Wait a moment. Is this the girl I thought that was... Sorry. No, it sounds like an NPC, though. Her remarkable designs we'll see. have led many Fontanians to become very interested in Inazuma. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's definitely what's happening here, too, in real life. Anyway, Chiori is acquainted with all the actors I've invited from Inazuma. Okay. Without her help, I don't think I would have been really excited. such an international cast for the film. Right. She really is a kind soul. Uh-huh. Who are the actors from Inazuma? Do we know them? I mean, Ayaka definitely wanted them. Why don't the two of you accompany me to the Aquabus station to welcome them? Oh, what a, we've got a cute Judging reunion. The time, the Aquabus should be arriving shortly. Perfect. Chiori will be waiting to meet me there as well. We got such great timing. The crack of muskets breaking the silence, roses and muskets, act one to this beautiful, beautiful Fontaine Plain, as we call it. This is cute. What's going on here? Okay, Napoleon. Whoa, this looks incredible. Yo, thousand pace. This is the mini games I. This looks so good. Look at all this. It kind of has a little bit Zenless Zone Zero vibe to me. But this is pretty. You're not gonna lie. Look at these little lambs. I love them. I said it earlier too. They're great. Why is he sad? Why is a bunch of sad whales and angry man and creepy smiley face thing? Film for fun. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm filming for fun. This one at all. Nah, why are you having a whole ass convo? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Hello. I can't interact with her? 
You're joking. Hello? I'm gonna patiently wait. You've been staring at those books for a really long time, honestly. I'm- hey. I'm detective. My pet has a mustache and glasses. <laughs> you wanna hang out? Fine, I guess I'll see her when I see her. Weirdly enough, we've been in Fontaine for a long time, and yet I still have no idea how to move around the city. This place is so inconvenient to get to. And this guy has a weird voice sign, that's all I remember. Say it, say it, or else. Say it, or I will leak your deepest secrets. Unlimited Mora or unlimited time? <laughs> Unlimited more or unlimited time. <laughs> I should have called the lift before interacting with this dude. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I'm very excited to do some more story content again. I'm going to the main hall. Navia line. What's up? Maybe I should have gone to Navia line. Yeah. Yeah, I regret it. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you when I'm back at the Navia line. You're yoking me. <laughs> it was a Navia. It's Clementine line. It says it right here. I'm so. Listen, I need a warm-up, okay? Don't laugh at me. Hello? Wow, it is a character. What the? Really? Well, your shoes are even crazier than all the other shoes we've seen so far from Inazuma. Are you her? You look so much more orange than I thought on the picture. Uh, Miss or are you someone else, maybe? <sighs> your top Whoa. Of the investor sure went fast. Whoa. The bus hasn't even arrived yet. She looks so cool. She's so different. She's not the character from the- Is she? Maybe she is. Maybe she was wearing something else there. No, maybe I'm crazy. Cool, Chiori. Okay, first time ever seeing this character of my life. Oh? And who are they? Tresnosis Reddos? Paimon's Paimon. Ah, uh, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> you left your kid on the aqua bus. Better get him before he leaves. The way Navi's wardrobe comes together is really exceptional. And the concept behind Kirara's outfit is really original too. Why, thank you. I strove to create an outfit that matched her high social station as the demoiselle. My, it worked very well. So tell me, what happened? I can tell the conversation didn't go quite as expected. <laughs> Why is she so like, I, I don't know the word for it. She, she's got like a mystical vibe though, it's kinda nice. Ah, well, it's like this. Fade to black. Wait. From the distance? Ugh. Yeah? I know, I know, Chiori, you don't have to say it. You did remind me that this investor was a little bit sketchy. Do you guys think when she jumps, she's got like, extra bounce because of the shoes? They're like, springs? <laughs> Wait, sorry, what did you say? Investor was sketchy. Oh my god, who do you invest? Yes, who is it? There's no doubt about that. The Fatus? But how could I pass it up? <laughs> he offered me twice as much as the others. Who would this be? And therein lies the problem. Yeah, it was pretty obvious then, wasn't it, Chief? Yes, but just put yourself in my shoes. After obtaining such an excellent script, uh -huh. it's only natural that I would want to make the most of the film. Ah, Xavier. You don't need to know what that means. The budgets that the others had proposed were nowhere near enough. It's difficult to find someone willing to front such a large amount of Mora, so... Okay, but then get two sponsors. Don't be sad, Xavier. We might be able to help scrounge up some more together for you. Oh, love, we love commissions. We love grinding Mora. I'm nodding. Oh, thank you, Paimon. That means a lot to me. But the cost of the film is staggering. You don't I'm know what I'm capable of. We can scrounge together in a short amount of time won't even be able to cover the actor's fees. I scrounged together like 200 million tickets during a, a world quest, dude. In a prison. Well, 2 million, not 200, but whatever. We need to move on. What's happened has already happened and there's no changing it. But now's not the time to give up. All right, like the mindset. What? You're saying that... You have a plan? Of course she does. No, that's oh. not what I mean. <laughs> I'm simply saying I wouldn't give up just yet. Oh, okay. The actors I recommended aren't just after Mora after all. Okay. Now that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. What she's saying is, they're fans of the arts. They are homies. Ayato. Ayaka. Anyone else? Yoi. I did not know Yoi was going to be here too. Then where do you live? On this boat. <laughs> the only way to enter is from underwater. Uh huh. Can't go there with fireworks. Sorry, Chief. Oh, you must be pretty tired after work every day, right? I mean, you have to swim all that way just to go home. No, that's a relaxing experience. We are so thoughtful. <laughs> but some Melusines choose to live in the Court of Fontaine because it's so much more convenient. <laughs> 
I like that she's getting more screen time. Remember the first time when you got in Fontaine and you went onto this thing and it took you with the boat all the way? This is our stop. Yeah, well, there's not oh, many other places you can go. But they haven't even finished chatting with Abel yet. It's not on auto, by the way, and it's just going. I also stop! Abel's introductions to Fontaine along the way. Right. You See, that's what I was talking about, too. Detailed, that we can't help but want to hear more. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. I'm usually working here on the soccer bus. <laughs> oh, so she's standing there. The to see you again. Uh -huh. There are still many more places I'd like to introduce you to you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is pretty cute. It's pretty cute. We don't mind that. Hello, besties. Why are we not... Welcome to the Court of Fontaine. Bro. Welcome. <laughs> Chiori, you sure have changed a lot. Really? This is the first time we've seen you since you left Inazuma. It's been like two weeks. I haven't realized it's been so long. I was in such a rush when I left that I didn't even get to say goodbye. Wow. Thank you for extending the invitation, Mr. Xavier. I'm looking forward to a fruitful so, trip here in Fontaine. I was going to say, we, it took us that long to recognize them? Uh, it's an honor to have the head of the Kamisato clan visit us. We're just casually walking up. I don't get us. So they are who you meant when you said you had actors coming from Inazuma? We're not surprised, not happy to see them or anything. Oh? It's the Traveler and Paimon. Hello, Ayaka. Wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> Ayaka and I were just talking about you on the way here. Are you also here for the film? Yup, I'm the main actor. I just ran into Xavier main actress. And came over with him. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm not an actress. Are you sure? So Kamisato and Lady Ayaka are the real actors here. I'm just tagging along with Ayaka to have a good time together. I thought I would always get the lead role. Uh, about that. I mean... <laughs> I told you. How was I supposed to contact you when I was making preparations for the film? Call me! I figured you were probably busy and I didn't want to disturb you. Oh yeah, so all those, all those quests of movie making in Inazuma didn't mean anything to you? All the help I put out for you? Nah, I can't believe this dude. So I could only keep you in the back of my mind while I sought other actors to play the lead roles in the film. Yeah, so you got like the two other most busy people in Inazuma. This excuse is baloney. I've been thinking about a surprise reunion with you during our trip here. Really? But you still managed to surprise me first. Surprise! I brought cake. Oh, I so didn't. you all know each other already. Yes. <laughs> My, what a coincidence. It's not that what coincidental, are the chances Chief. everyone could be brought together here like this? <sighs> I don't know. Why don't we go to Hotel de Boer and You're making it sound like it's not a coincidence. I've already made a reservation. <laughs> You're making it sound even more like it's not a coincidence. Huh? Did you reserve two spots for us too? Uh huh? Yes, of course, of course. See? I'll be sure to tell the boss to serve a few the boss. more delicious dishes just to make sure there'll be enough food. You'll need more than a couple. Very well. Then please, kindly lead the way, Mr. Xavier. You're not going to say anything to us, Mr. Ayato Kamisato Ayato, mister? Alright. I'm not mad. I didn't care anyway. <laughs> he didn't say a word. I was like, yeah, I guess you're here. Whatever. Wow. The buildings in Fontaine are so tall. Yeah. Just look at how big they are. It's not very pretty, per and se. The fountain this is cool, though. Mentioned earlier. It really is a magnificent sight. I'd agree with that. And look at that huge spinning sphere. Where does it get its power? Souls and lies. Wait a sec. Trials. Can you one of those clockwork mecha we've heard so much about? No. Well, I guess. Kinda. Sure. Just not one with soul. Go to the Hotel de Bord's second floor. J'y vais. Whoa! Hey guys, there is a new icon. This is wonderful. Look, it's like a little door. It's telling you, you have to go inside somewhere. Now that, I say, is pretty cute. I haven't done a lot of QL since the new patch, so this is all new to me. I know, in 2024. Happy New Year, by the way. Hope you're all doing well. And that's enough of the accent for the rest of the year. <laughs> I know, investing too much emotion. That's what I always do too. But people love to invest too much emotion, to be honest, lady. Oh, it's uh, just water. Yeah, I knew it. I know my just waters. Hello. Mm, so this is what food from Fontaine is like. Yep. <gasps> what a huge fork. What we have in Inazuma. Pro. How should I describe it? It seems like you have to go through a lot more uh, steps to make them. Uh huh. And the flavor has many layers too. Wow. Layers. Like onions and ogres. Ah, uh, yes. When I first oh, yes. went to Inazuma, <laughs> I actually thought the food there tasted a little too bland. Really? It took some time for me to get used to it. Oh, really? Let's get back to the purpose of this trip for a moment. Always business we? with this man. 
How have preparations for the film been coming along, Mr. Xavier? Ah, Ayato, let me fill you in. Well, I've already <laughs> assembled most of the film crew. A lighting specialist, Ooh. a prop manager, oh. and a costume designer. Ooh. I've also bought the copyrights from the novel's author. Oh. Oh, it's called The Two Musketeers, right? The Two Musketeers. <laughs> on the way here. The story is pretty good. Just two? Originally, I was planning to start filming as soon as Sir Kami But I guess since I'm here too now, Ayato I'm the third. arrived in Fontaine, but uh, I'm afraid I've run into a bit of a problem. You see, we can't get any funding. Oh? What is it? I just told you. Why aren't you listening to me? You hate me, Ayato. It has to do with the film's investor, Mr. Morris. He Aww. suddenly informed me this morning that he's encountered some financial trouble. I and see. Will be unable to release to me the amount of funding agreed upon. I didn't realize he himself was the investor. I wasn't paying enough attention. So okay, we talked to the man. It said that Fontaine's legal system is Fontaine. well Fontaine. If he has violated the contract, then can't you simply take him to court over the matter? There was no contract, as you can see. In France, we do a lot of bouche à oreille, and that's all we did. Ah, well, I'm still more concerned about filming. Even if I were to take him to court, I'm yeah. afraid it would take months before the case could even be heard. <laughs> this is very true. I don't know if it's worldwide, but in France, this is 100% true. Then, is there a way we could raise funds ourselves to solve the problem? We said the same. I've considered that option too, but... Unfortunately, it's difficult How much to gather is it? such a large amount of mora on such short notice. Good sir. Besides, we have to consider the film festival submission deadline. Oh no. Hmm. Just ask the Archon. Well, ex Arch, ask Furin. Mr. Xavier, if Ayaka and I were willing to perform for free, would that resolve the problem you are currently facing? I swear, if just their payment covers the amount he needs to do the other things, you guys, you guys, mad expensive. What? Uh, no, out of the question. To have you come all this way just to act for free? Oh, no, 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 no. That no, no, no. Do. No, 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 no. There's no need to worry, Mr. Xavier. My brother and I had actually intended to work for free after receiving your invitation. I don't buy a word of it. Inazuma has only recently Us too. its borders and needs to strengthen its relations and cultural ties with other nations. This is true. We didn't have many collaboration projects with Fontaine in the past. Fontaine. So we hope this trip would serve as a good start for the future. Yeah, that's a good idea. Indeed. We have another lighting expert you too. You could say Yoi. that's the real reason why the Yashiro Commission agreed to come to Fontaine. We actually don't care about your movie. We just want to look good in your people's eyes. I understand, but having you two act for free just doesn't seem right. But it's a non-profit film, Xavier. Not at all. While we're officially here to conduct a cultural survey of sorts, yeah. we must express our sincerity if we want to establish formal cultural ties with your nation. It's true. This film will serve as proof of friendly cooperation and cultural <laughs> exchange between Inazuma and Fontaine. Uh huh. It's my hope that the film can be finished and released as smoothly as possible. Right. If you still don't feel comfortable with this arrangement, I would also be more than happy to be introduced to some other renowned individuals in Fontaine's literary and artistic circles. Okay. <laughs> as payment. All right. I'll do as you say. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're joking. I'll make sure to cobble together enough more now, even if it means selling my house, my <laughs> camera, and this every dude. single family heirloom. Well, if you saw your camera, what are we filming with, champ? No, but honestly, they were going to pay Ayata and Ayaka so much that they couldn't afford to make the rest. Uh, what do you mean? Come on now. No need to go that far. I'll also help you out as a brand sponsor. Yeah, we can help too. Just say you got a contribution from some personal friends. Me too. Even though I didn't bring much more to spend on this trip, it's <laughs> still better than nothing. You could sell some fireworks. It's actually it's illegal. Here, <laughs> actually too it's illegal. Kind, all of you, I sniff. I really don't know how to. <laughs> Just don't cry in front of us, Xave. Keep your head up. Ugh, ew. <laughs> Enough about that. <laughs> now that we've really? had savings, my support, and two ew. leads who are willing to act for free. I think we will be able to make this happen. Ew. Can't believe he's crying. Cringe. <laughs> so, instead of Mora, you'll help with filming and production. Sure, so sensually said. Oh, but how can we help with that? We don't know much about making a film. Oh, Paimon, you've never been more wrong. Alright. 
yourself together, <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> I told you someone Tell would. Tell us if there are still any open positions left among the crew. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, uh, all right. I wish uh, we was sobbing a little bit. We still need a camera operator. Me? A clapper loader. By and Mita? someone to manage logistics. I don't want to do that. I originally <laughs> personally served as director, but I've been too busy working as the producer. I won't do that. So the positions of director and director's assistant director? also need to be filled. I shall be director. Paimon knows what the director and the logistics support person do, but what's a clapper loader? You sync up the shots, bro. The clapper loader is responsible for using the clapper board to record and organize the information of each shot. When yes. the camera operator begins shooting, yes. the work requires both patience and careful attention to detail. Definitely fit for Paimon. A clapper board? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's ironic that clap is at the start of the word clapperboard. It's almost like it's logical. Yes, that's right. Are you interested in that job? Not sure you want to give her so much responsibility. For sure, I uh -oh. always wanted to try that. Uh-oh. -uh. All right, then you'll be our clapper loader. Clapper loader. I can find someone from the store to help with logistics. What do you think, Xavier? That's a good idea. Oh, fine by me. As for our camera operator, Ooh. I was thinking of letting the traveler take Ooh. the role. I mean, I mean, thank you, thank you. Oh, she's great when it comes to using the Ah, camera. guys, stop I it. I can't even count how many things we've taken photos of during our journey. And then it shows pictures that I've taken, and it's just like zoomed in pictures of the <laughs> mean's face. Yes, that's also what I was thinking. Uh -huh. I noticed the traveler had an God. eye for photography Xavier. and composition when we worked together previously. Stop it. I'm sure that's due to the traveler's journey across to that and all the places they've seen. Oh, not my talents? After mm. so many adventures, mm. using a camera must be second nature by now. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks a lot, Aika. Thanks for support. What do you say, traveler? Are you interested in the job? Lights, camera, action. Bip, 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 bip. Bit it, bit, 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 Thank bit. you. It really means a lot to me. Of course. Come on, friend. Let me give you a big <laughs> <warm> hug. <laughs> Why are we denying him? Uh, I think we better get to work. So all that's left for us <laughs> to find is a director and an assistant. Uh huh. Oh, me, me, me. I want to be the director's assistant. <laughs> all we need to do is help the director, right? That's what it. That's that. what the names. You guys, you guys, not be very sharp today, huh? The clapper master, you don't know if that's the one with the clap, and the director's assistant's the one that assists the director. You, you sure you need, you know, like, verification on that? All right, then all we need is a director. Director. Oh, well, the well-known directors in Fontaine the are nicest probably director. also busy working on their own films these days. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who will have time to help. Uh, Farina. Farina helped out at the yeah. troupe recently by serving as an artistic consultant. Yeah. She could be a good director, right? <laughs> Besides, it's not yeah. like she has anything else to do right now. Wow, that's kind of toxic. <laughs> Farina? Yes, Lady Farina. Uh, do you really think Lady Farina would be willing to help us with our humble project? It ain't that humble, Chief. You're gonna blow half the money on two actors from Inazuma. Isn't that the name of Fontaine's Hydro Archon? Yes. My brother has already informed me about what happened here in Fontaine. Really? Yep, that's her! She helped out a theater troupe not too long ago, mm -hmm. and now she's taking up work as a director! Yep. Well, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw that musical. Her performance was perfect. Oh, did you think she was and actually the there? the storyboards were also excellent. That'd be so cool if she's in the crowd somewhere, but we never noticed. Don't let her form or identity intimidate you. She's the best oh. candidate we can think of right now. You'll never know until you give her a shot. Yeah, and she'll love it. She's a good ventriloquist, by the way. Also, I'm wondering, is this... Do you have to do Farina's quest to be able to do this? Or can you do this anyway, but then you have different dialogue, maybe? Fine. You're right, Chiori. I'll do anything for the sake of my film. Anything! Anything. Sell my house, sell my camera, sell my kidneys, sell my kids. Oh, wait, I don't have any of those. I have to ask the Traveler and Paimon to show me the way to Lady Farina's residence. Uh-huh. I just hope she'll agree to help. She lives in a humble little hut. Do you need us to also come along? It's probably like the most expensive place to live in whole of Fontainebleau, whatever. No, there's no need to trouble you with this. Besides, you've just arrived in Fontaine, and I'm sure there are many places you would like to visit. Yes. Just leave this task to me. It's part of my duties as the producer. A uh, group hug. Very well. <laughs> Then we'll be waiting to hear the good news. I'll give you a ring. I'll go with you. By the way, you might want to consider bringing a gift. A gift? And don't worry, we won't simply drop you off at Farina's place. Yeah. We know Farina pretty well by now. Yeah, we kind of tie like that. Familiar faces there should help your chances. Besides, we got our foo-foo. 
<laughs> we call her Fufu because we tie like that. All right, then I'll start making preparations. Uh huh. As for the gift, macaron, hmm. cake. A gift for cake, someone cake, who is cake. once seen as the Hydra Oricon. Cake from this very I establishment. What you'd like. Cake. I recall that Lady Farina once fancied a clockwork ring. What? So perhaps I should get another exquisite clockwork contraption for her. Another? Huh? Can't we just bring some desserts? Yes. Like the mousse? Yes. I'm with you. Hmm. But wouldn't that be a little too cheap? No. She does like desserts, though. If we self-bake it. Isn't the Fontanelia festival happening right now? Yes. <laughs> Evil tell us on the uncle bus that Farina introduced the tradition of going door to door and asking for sweets. Oh, that's a great. You know what? We're gonna knock on her door, ask her for treats as a present. To do something like that, she must have a real sweet tooth. I'm with you. I agree with Yoimiya. If the gift is too fancy, it might actually make her feel Just saying. more uncomfortable. I was, I was with Yoi from the get go. Alright then, let's go buy some Fontanelia mousse. Buy? Ooh, sick transition, dude. But that cake, but there's the three really pieces of cake. Be right enough? There. We'll be yes. asking her to do a lot of work, you know. Yeah, and she'll she'll be grateful to do something. Hmm, you're right. We need to further sweeten the deal. <laughs> Put some sugar on it then. Huh? You want something even sweeter than Fontanelia? <laughs> it's a way of speech by Mita. Yes. We'll need a gift that's sweeter than any dessert in the world. Yeah, credit. There you go. We'll give her the credit at the end. Reputation. <laughs> Your words hey, of praise. what did I tell you? Credit. <laughs> Why am I in shock? What do you mean I'm in shock? Nah, but whatever, I'm so over it. Besties! Dude, I can't believe the besties are Leon. Écoute, j'ai faim. Hello there. Can you really not sell me anything, Leon? Look, this is her favorite cake. Besties? You go ahead. No need to worry about us. Okay. Oh, I hope Farina will like the gifts we prepared. Prepared? Oh, and if you still think we should get something else for <laughs> we her, bought just them. let me know. I should be able to make some fireworks. And then you're gonna get jailed. You, at least we get to meet Rightsley. Ayato, what do you think about these little chefs, huh? Looking forward to the good news. That's it? He hates me. Guys, I think I, I think I maybe made him mad when I said his story quest wasn't that hype. He does not want to talk to me anymore. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's going on there? I do not have a face. I'm a vampire. Purina! I'm here. I mind the front of your door. Really? She sells books now? Okay. I'll go knock on the door. You do that, chief. <laughs> She's Geo. Look at that. Very interesting. It looks like her set is kind of like bullied, bullied. <laughs> the muffled audio and waking up past 2 p.m. Hello. Who are you? You're all dressed at least. It's not your your jammies. <clears throat> Lady Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. A director. Hello. Oh, is that the traveler in Paimon I see behind you? Maybe. And who's this? I don't know if they're gonna click. There might be some... They may not vibe at the start. Or they're gonna vibe way more than I think. I don't know. I'm Chiori. Okay. Ah, the one from Chioria Boutique. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. So, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Yes. Your lovely assistants. Oh, Farina dear. Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. <clears throat> uh, Paimon, uh, try to be nice, remember. She's I always so mean. So nice in the afternoon. <laughs> Sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Oh. Is a really smart idea. Wow, so smart. <laughs> wow, dude, that was really smooth, Paimon. Uh, no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Nerd. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? Uh, nothing. Ignore her. <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady <laughs> Farina. We hope you like it. I'm kind of jealous. I wanted to eat it myself. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else. Now. <laughs> oh, is this Fontanalia mousse? It sure is. It's one of my favorites. 
it's... Oh, it has sugar in it, so it has to be. That's great. So actually, there's something we need your help with. So actually, we didn't just come here to serve you dessert. Given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, mm -hmm. I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. Director. For free, by the way. No payments. Oh. But didn't you just say that you're a director? Yeah, but he has to do so much sceneristic work now, you know? Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Producing, Besides, same I'm sure thing. That your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Lady Farina, beautiful, cake enjoying, sugar loving beauty. <laughs> The Traveler and Paimon also part of the film crew? Only if you want me to, Farina. Yep, we sure are. Paimon's the clamp loader and she's the camera operator. That's right. Smile. Come on, smile for the camera. Camera operator? Mm hmm That can be a pretty technical job. Uh-huh. And it directly affects the final quality of the film. Yeah. Are you really up to it? Are you trying to test me right now? I have experience. I can show you if you like. No, I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that I've never really seen you use a camera before. Yeah, because you never look at me. I'm always in the shadows. Maybe you can come up with a test for the Traveler and see for yourself. Oh, this would be cool. If she can satisfy you with her camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can join the team. What do you say? I like this. I hope I actually get to do it myself. Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Uh-huh. Hmm... Oh, I do wish to see how skilled the Traveler really is with a camera. Very. All right. How about this? Uh-huh. We'll work with what we have. Sure. I'll give you some scenarios. Okay. And see if your work is up to my standards. Whatever you say, Director. Very good. It's essential <laughs> for the camera operator to understand the Director's vision. This is true. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. All right. Are you ready? Yes. I have high standards, you know. I'm ready, you know. Okay. Grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario. Deal. Whoa! Filming starts in zero. This is crazy. Theme directed by Farina. Estelle is the boss of the Beaumont Workshop and has always been proud of her forging machine, as it can not only precisely control the strength and the temperature, but also takes no effort from the blacksmith. Let us film a promotional video for her workshop. Remember to emphasize the superiority of her forging machine. Very, very, very cool. Is this is this actually from the? I don't know if this is a mini game. Kind of want to do it though. <laughs> you need to film several shots according to the director's requirements and compile them into a video. Camera positioning is key, and you should ascertain the camera position requirements beforehand. When filming, there will be narration requirements. Select the suitable narration according to the story to satisfy the director's film requirements. After selecting the most suitable choices for all the camera positions and narration, you may begin filming and see the results. So I don't really get to place it myself. I get to pick a pre-decided angle and, and things like that. Located in the Court of Fontaine, Bowman Workshop is a weapon workshop used as a for forging machine. Yep. This machine can precisely control the force applied temperature, making it perfect doing exhausting and time-consuming work. Uh huh. Thanks to this machine, the owner of Bowman Workshop, Estelle, can comfortably enjoy our day at work. But worry not, the weapons produced by Bowman Workshop are outstanding quality with exquisite craftsmanship and a keen edge. I don't really see any weapons. I <laughs> want a piece of cake. Piece of cake! Precise show the mannerisms of the character, its ability to elucidate the character's relationship with her environment. That's crazy. Shot taken from medium position, capture the character and their surroundings. The available scale and detail are somewhat middling. There's so much detail. Look at the amount of stuff they wrote and things people probably never were gonna look. If weapons are what you want, look no further than Bomo Mad Madud. I kinda like the piece of cake. This is an awful shot. I mean, it's the hustle and bustle. I'm gonna guess this. View script. I did it. Start shooting. Film team directed by Farida. Located in Cordifal 10, Bomo Workshop is a weapons workshop specializing in using a forging machine. Yes. The machine can precisely control the force applied and the temperature make it perfect for doing exhausting and time-consuming work. Thanks to this machine, the owner of Bomo Workshop, Estelle, can comfortably enjoy her day at work, drinking coffee and such. But worry not, for the weapons produced by Bomo Workshop are of outstanding quality, with the exquisite craftsmanship and a keen edge. If weapons are what you're looking for, look no further than Bomo. That's, that's a pretty good shot. Maybe not enough people in the shots? That's her one complaint. Oh. It appears that you have more skill than I thought. You underestimate me, Fufu. All the shots had a great composition, and mm -hmm. I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lines. Uh, really? So what's the verdict then, Queen? Yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director, Farina? Imagine she says all this, and then she says no. <laughs> 
did you think I would agree just like that? After our performance <laughs> at the little Oceaned, I've begun to make a name for myself again, you know. Okay, what's with the sudden arrogance? In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Uh huh. Unfortunately, the scripts were all pretty boring and pretty didn't boring. take my interest. But wait till you hear this one. If others were to find out I agree to work with you so easily, they never would. Then, well. Do you realize who I am, Farina? I mean, I didn't do that much in Fulten, but still. I am the MC, Savior of Liwa, Trislayer of Dragons, First Sage of Boor, Freer of Inazuma. I mean, the list goes on. Hey, but didn't we have a deal? What else do we need to do to convince you, Farina? Get her more cake. Uh, well, what about the pay? <laughs> Free. You get credit. <laughs> the worst thing to say. You get credit. Huh? Huh? How much you're willing to pay me to be the director? One dessert per shooting the day. The pay is also an important factor for me to consider, you know. You have to stop saying you know, you know. Well, uh, I can offer you this much? Deal. <laughs> I want to see if she reacts yet. She's like, thinking about it. What? <laughs> That's all? <laughs> Let were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. What? It's not even a smeak? That's crazy. I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. Very tight, you see. We're not even paying the actors. I see. Well, even though it's highly unlikely now that I'll join your crew. Wow. There's still something I'd like to ask. Exactly what film are you planning to make? I love comedy, drama, romantic, funny comedy thriller. I'm trying to englobe as many themes as <laughs> she can't say no. Oh, uh, our script is an adaptation of The Two Musketeers. Oh my god, it's our favorite book. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number thriller. one bestseller? Yeah, and we already have the rights. Oh, so Farina's read it too. Uh-huh. Of course I read it. I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the populace. The populace. I see. It all makes sense now. Mm -hmm. You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Okay, so you were talking mad dookie before, and now that you've heard the full story, suddenly you turn around, you're like Fiona in Shrek. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You need to give people more time. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for free oh. once he heard that I wanted to make a film adaptation of the story. Wow. The lack of budget is due to another issue. Yeah, we're also getting scammed on the other hand, Farina. I wanted to, maybe you should just rolled with it, honestly. He probably just wants to get his name out there. So, Mora isn't the most important oh. thing to him right now. Oh, that's a stab at you, Farina. It reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. Mm -hmm. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. The exposure she provides for my brand is well worth it. Yep. Uh... Yep. So, are you a big fan of this story, <laughs> Farina? <laughs> well, uh, it's... Right. Wow. The pacing of the story is good. Okay. But the character relationships could use some work. Uh huh. When I was reading it before, I always felt like some things were left on a rather unsatisfactory note. Stop. I have high standards, Stop. you know. You know. Ahem, Mr. Xavier. If hypothetically, you would have some creative freedom. I yes. Agree to be the I knew director. she would ask. How much freedom would I have I knew she in would terms ask. of script revisions and creative interpretation? A little bit, but it does have to stick to the theme. Oh, oh, as much freedom as you would need. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dare doubt the tastes of Fontaine's greatest star. No one likes him. I don't know how you say this politely. Stop sucking up to her. Good. Then I'm free to alter the script as I see fit. The story's gonna have nothing to do with the original. Absolutely no problem. All right. Well, you say so. We're counting on you, director. This is your chance to make a film that you love. Hmm. All right. It seems that oh your crew God. really can't go on without my care and direction. So, you agree? Yes. Yes. I agree. Yes. Although the pay is well below what someone of my caliber deserves, 
A great script calls for a great director. <laughs> a little sparkle. I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of Thank funds. you again? Jeez. If you have fine cheese and bread, you wouldn't just let it sit on the counter and get moldy just because you lack an oven, right? So that's what a great metaphor. Great job, Farina. Oh, Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? Somebody pinch me. Sure. There's no more Hydro Archon, you know. Ooh, and it's you know. still a little early <sighs> to celebrate. You know. There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. You know. Although the trickiest tasks of finalizing the script and mm -hmm. casting the actors have already been taken care of. Yeah. We'll still need to reserve filming locations. Not to say set up lighting and props. You think we don't have this under control, Farina? And uh, by the way, by the way, we'll be filming the two musketeers. You know, we'll need to find an action choreographer. Mm -hmm. Ideally, a professional who has actual experience with muskets. Look at that. Yes, I've thought about this as well. I was hoping that you might know someone who could handle the job. In fact, I do. Me? Hmm. Oh. If this was before. I could have simply asked Lorand, mm -hmm. but it's already been some time since I last talked to her. Then time to reignite the fire. Navia can also use firearms, but unfortunately, <laughs> her style is quite different from that of the characters in the story. Navia's style, big shotgun. <laughs> this is like probably a bit more sharpshooter accurate, you know, not huge blasts. I get it. Could we ask the special security and surveillance patrol? Okay. Oh, you mean the special patrol's musketeers? Is this chivalrous? Yes, that's right. They work with muskets every day. I can't think of anyone more qualified than them. Okay. They would be under Nervilat's jurisdiction. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, I, uh, don't have any connection with them at all. But Nur was really happy that you were picking back up arts and stuff. He would definitely help. Hmm. So... In the end, we <laughs> still have to start by talking to Nervalet. Uh huh. No need to go to all that trouble. I huh? know their captain, Chevrus. Chevrus, really? That's probably the worst pronunciation I've heard of a Fontaine name yet. Oh, you do? Wait, Chiari, how do you know the captain of the Special Patrol's Musketeers? I've been in the jail a couple times. You don't know me. I think she's gonna be really good with Navia. That's my guess, also. Chiari's gonna be Navia's bestie. No particular. In parties, reason. I mean. Running a business means dealing with some trouble from time to time, and yeah. she's helped me out on a few occasions. Neat. In return, I've helped her handle a few situations in which the special patrol couldn't get involved directly. Mm -hmm. So, we've gotten to know each other over time. I see. Uh, so you're saying there's been times when the special patrol needed a fashion designer to handle a situation? You know this. Your work is becoming more and more mysterious. But you also know that there was this person- We were helping out little Melazine police officer. Over at a clothes shop earlier, too. It'd be best to keep it that way. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. All right, she does more what than do just think design clothes, the huh? To be our musket action choreographer. Mm hmm She sounds professional enough. Enough. She is a captain, after all. After all. <laughs> I have no objections. You see. But I imagine the special security and surveillance patrol must be busy with their duties. Mm -hmm. Do you think she'd really have time to help with shooting a film? Well, she loves shooting. Uh-huh. Well, it just so happens that she's also not ah. the kind of person that's just out of <laughs> Her face. <laughs> As for whether she has time, I'll have to go and ask her first. Okay, I'm starting to like her already. Then I'll leave that to you. Macaroni's on sale today. <laughs> so got to go. No. You can just tell me how things went when we do tomorrow's plan later. Or toodaloo or whatever. No problem. <laughs> Having Farina join feels like a Macaroni's on sale. Of course. Just wait until the day of our premiere. I'm waiting. You'll witness the true power of my name in these lands. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be so glad I agreed to help. Oh my god. I can guarantee that even the standing tickets will be sold out. Okay, jeez. I'll be sure to ask some people I know to see if they'd be willing to act as extras. Okay. <laughs> Seems like you're finally getting more comfortable with your own reputation now. Yeah, but a little bit too much arrogance coming back, Fufu. I'm not sure I like this. I didn't Ask for the clapper loaders commentary. Jeez. Time I can't wait to see our film's premiere, director. Then let's get going. Smile. I happen to know where Chevrus is today. Ah, right, so do I. She ignored me earlier. I'm pretty sad about it. Uh, by the way, by I'm the way, curious. 
If my pay is so low, <laughs> then what about our two lead actors? Uh huh. Didn't they travel here all the way from Inazuma? You thought we're paying them? <laughs> <laughs> Silly goose. Actually, they told us that um, they see actually. the trip as part of a cultural exchange. Yep. So they didn't ask for any pay. Uh huh. What? So is every person in <laughs> want money gathered here to shoot this film? Well, Paimita's here. Don't tell me Chiori isn't being paid either. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew Xavier from before. And he's also agreed to give my brand some good exposure. She's getting payment, I guess. It seems the gods have really smiled upon you, Xavier. <laughs> and that certainly doesn't include me, mind you. <laughs> wow. She didn't say toodles. Toodaloo. Where's the macaroni? Where are you buying macaroni? Oh, the two musketeers give me the- I saw the shine during the cutscene and I was wondering, is that a book? And it looks like it is. I didn't click it, I'm an Besides idiot. Besides the macaroni, yeah. we should also pick up some tomato sauce. Very smart, Farina. They'll forget the tomato sauce. I love the macaroni Farina meme though, it's good. It's good stuff. Wait, you're telling me she didn't move? Oh my god, still it's the crossover. Chevreuse. Chevrita. That's her name, actually. All right. This is the place. She's been staring at that book for so long. Chiori, you might want to have a look at her. Hmm. But where's the captain? There's hardly anyone around here. Well, that makes it pretty obvious who the one is then, no? She's over there. The one with an eye patch reading in front of the newsstand. I'm very excited to hear what she sounds like. Oh, and is there. like. I could tell there was something different about her. She seems kind of intimidating. So there's three people. You're saying, who is it? There's almost no one here. There's one outstanding person and you don't think it's them. Okay. Please wait here for a moment. Sure. I'll go fetch her. She's working now, so you working. might not want to get in her way. Mm-hmm. Working? But isn't she just standing there and reading a novel? She's on patrol. She's waiting for a thief. Just trust me. <laughs> I do nothing but this. Oh, all right. Let's see what happens then. They get into a karate fight. Chiori sure is a mysterious person. She claims just to be a fashion designer, but she uh -huh. knows all these powerful people. Uh-huh. The court of Fontaine isn't particularly tolerant of visitors from overseas. Right. So it isn't easy for a foreigner to promote their brand here. I see. Even more so in the competitive world of fashion. Sure. Even a local like me just trying to make a film has to face all kinds of challenges. <laughs> So uh -huh. I can only imagine what Chiori has been through to get where she is today. Yeah. I'm sure that having more connections has definitely worked in her favor. An absolute business queen. Reading on the job? <laughs> detective novel. Whoa. Really? I mean, I knew about the detective novel. But really about her voice and purple eyes? Okay. One main character? <clears throat> no. Multiple. Branching storylines. <laughs> <laughs> the analytical discussion. I see. How's the plot coming along? No spoil. One of the main characters is about to make a choice that will affect the rest of his life. I'd wager he's going to make the wrong choice. Uh-oh. <sighs> Any way to speed things up? Feels uh, something I iconic. Need your help with. You know that doesn't depend on me. It all comes down <laughs> to what the character chooses. <laughs> okay. Which is exactly why I'm here to help. Uh-huh. Oh. What's he cooking? Bomb! What's he doing? <sighs> sigh, of, sigh of disappointment? When man's turned around? Alright. It appears he made the wrong choice in the end. Uh, I wasn't- it, This was code. Uh, this was code. Uh, she is spying on these dudes. Halt! Halt. You with the silly glasses. I see you. Ooh. Tense music playing. Huh? What's going on? Yeah. Give that back. Hand over whatever you're holding. <laughs> oh, it's just a book. I didn't buy anything else. Oh yeah, what's in there, huh? Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind letting me have a look. <laughs> With my one eye, which is enough to see through your bullshit, by the way. Excuse me, officer. I don't mind you standing around here, not purchasing anything, but I'd prefer not purchasing anything. He whispers under his breath. It's bad for business, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't give me that act. You won't be able to get off so easily either. Ooh. I am Chevrus, captain of Fontaine's special security and surveillance patrol. Uh-huh. I will say this one last time. Hand over whatever you're holding at once. She reminds me of Pom Pom because of the fit. And before you do anything unwise, 
Let me remind you that I'll have you on the ground before you can even think about making a run for it. <laughs> run! Please run, I want to see this. Uh, all right, all right. I'll give it to you. Uh-huh. But please let me say something first. If there's any contraband in that book, <laughs> then the shopkeeper here is the one who slipped it in. They're going to throw each other under the bus now. Wow. Why, you trying to leave me on the hook, huh? You were the one who said you wanted it. <laughs> Save it for the interrogation room. Well, they just both gave it away together. Take them away, Letelier. Get him, Letelier. That's pronounced pretty well. But Chevreuse definitely isn't. What's going on here? One second you're reading a book and the next you're escorting people away. Pimita, if you don't keep quiet, you're going to be escorted away too. And who are... Oh. Hello. Aren't you the traveler who's been all over the papers recently? Might be. Chiori. I'm assuming what you wanted to ask me about has to do with them, right? Oh, she's so, she's so cute and lightened up when she's not on work. Ah, maybe I can let you in on what's happening then. <laughs> I really like her. Now that Bache has been brought to justice, uh -huh. no new shipments of synth will be made and distributed to sellers. Good. The Fontaine guards have been busy collecting the remaining synths still circulating on the market. Very neat. Thanks to a tip from our reliable source here, this should be the very last batch. In a book? <laughs> oh, so you were pretending to read a book in order to catch the bad guy. Is it one of those books that has like other pages cut out and there's like a, a vial or whatever it's called? Like one of those drinking things hidden in it? Oh, Paimon almost forgot to introduce ourselves. Uh -huh. Paimon is Paimon uh -huh. and this is the traveler Red Redness is Redness and Xavier is Xavier. Hey, I'm Chevrez. You probably already heard me introduce myself, so a I little bit. bother repeating it. Why didn't you just arrest them immediately? Yeah, why didn't you make a move as soon as you had the chance? Oh. Were you worried that my intel wasn't accurate? <laughs> She's in shock. No, I wanted to see if the shopkeeper <gasps> would turn himself in first. Which he kind of did. All he I had mean, to do was come no. up to me and say that he didn't know where the synth had come from. If he did that, then I wouldn't have had to press charges on him. Right. He had the whole day to turn the synth over to Shavras. Yeah. But instead... The moment I came up and blocked Chevres' line of sight, ah. he took the opportunity to sell it off. Partners in crime. Yep, he made the wrong choice, even though the right choice was right there in front of him. What a silly idiot. But you knew they wouldn't make the right choice. Uh-huh. Yeah, I knew. I was just hoping I'd be wrong for once. Right. Eh. I get that. Enough about that, though. <laughs> what did you want to ask me about? I don't remember, man. <laughs> it's been too long. Do you want to teach your actors how to work around with a musket? You see, it's like this. Fade to black. Oh, they don't have to fade to black anymore. That's crazy. They do a little, like, fade away the in the two distance. Two musketeers. Mm -hmm. You certainly have a good eye for a story. Of course. Come on. You know me. Well, you don't know me. Well, you kind of do. So what do you need me to do? Teach just them. be the action choreographer for the actors? Yes. Oh, can you just stunt jumps? Yes, that's right. I want to make sure we get all the details car, right. I want the actor's <laughs> posture and understanding of firearms to be as realistic as possible. <laughs> what if what if Genshin just becomes GTA, please? However, I'm afraid this work will require a bit of your time, mm -hmm. since you'll have to be present whenever we're filming. Right. Also, as for the pay... I don't want anything. No need to say any more. I'll join. <laughs> She's great. Huh? She's so good. Really? You're willing to help us with our humble film project? Quit saying humble. It ain't humble, dude. Sure, it's no big deal. As I said, we've wrapped up our investigation here, so I don't have any other tasks on my plate for the moment. Isn't that lovely? Besides, I personally really like this novel. I even Cute. have the collector's edition at home. Look Stories at that. Stories where justice prevails over evil never get old for me. Yeah, true. Then we've got a deal? Well, yeah. Yes, I'll see you on set tomorrow. Oh, that was cut. That was spliced. I'll see you on set tomorrow. <laughs> I know, because I do that often, too. Oh, my. I can hardly believe it. I should tell Lady Farina immediately. Oh, and I must tell the prop manager and lighting technician to get everything ready. Wow. We start filming tomorrow. Look at us go. We got some pace all of a sudden. Calm down, Xavier. The film is going to take more than just a day to finish. Yeah, but we want to start as soon as we can. Still, I should also head back now. Okay. Let's start preparing the actors' costumes and makeup. All right, you do that. All right, guess that's it for today. I then. wish we could get a new fit. Traveler, Paimon, please stay for a moment. Oh. I have something to tell you. <laughs> See you the next time. <laughs> I'll take Xavier back. Sure. Poor thing. He's so excited that he can't even walk straight anymore. 
<laughs> I don't want to spend our first day fishing our producer out of the fountain. That's fair, that's fair. See you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not saying that you could hold himself together. I don't believe in none of that. Yo, it's the girl I forgot the name of. Chevreuse, where would you go, dude? Hello, Chevrita. So what did you want to tell us, Chevreuse? It's middle of the night suddenly. Have you read The Two Musketeers? I haven't read it yet, actually. The story is about a pair of children born into the household of a baron, mm -hmm. and their struggle to survive together and take revenge for their mother. Okay. They were raised at the baron's estate, where their mother worked as a maid. Yeah. The two were illegitimate children that the baron had with the maid, mm -hmm. so they were never treated well by anyone. I see. One day, upon returning home, they found their mother had been murdered and left dead on the floor. Right. It was quite evident that the culprits were the other members of the Baron's household, who yeah. never had any kind words to say to them. I see. However, the Baron was able to exert his influence and keep the whole thing under wraps. Right. The mother's death was eventually deemed as a suicide, oh, and there no. was no chance of bringing her murderers to justice. The two siblings decided to flee and someday avenge their mother. Interesting. It does remind me a little bit of the Linnea Lynette story, but it's obviously not the exact same. Many years later, Members of the Baron's family suddenly started turning up dead one after the other, right. all killed by gunshot. Ah, a rainbow the musketeers. rose was found on each of the victim's bodies, being the flower that the kid's mother liked best. She... The Baron believed that the mother's soul had come to take vengeance on him, so he lived in fear each day. <laughs> Not great, but probably very deserved. But it was actually those two siblings who had fled all those years oh, ago. Oh, what a twist. I didn't they expect that. They relied on each other to survive and trained day and night, eventually becoming adept musketeers. And joining the musketeers of Fontaine and saving the world after. They used all of their abilities to collect evidence and clues before executing their plan and exacting revenge on the Baron. Nice. Their actions let the truth behind their mother's death be known to all. That's kind of cool. That's quite an exhilarating story. You can say that. Yep. The Baron got what he deserved for his evil deeds, yep. and justice was able to prevail. Nice. It was just the kind of story I enjoy. <laughs> I know that now. Oh, so is that why you were so willing to join our crew, Chevras? She did say that she doesn't get tired of stories that go like this. You could say it was one of the reasons. Oh, you're not telling me this was inspired by your story or something, right? Oh, you mean there were other reasons too? That is what she said. I've read the reports about I didn't you. miss Paima. <laughs> Whether it was at the trials or when you lent your hand to resolve our nation's crisis. Ah, oh, stop. You've shown that you've got a strong sense of justice. No. As well as a great mind for deductions. Wait, so what you're implying is there's a case that you need our help with? Yes, you're as sharp as I expected. It seems you've experienced many similar situations before. Yes, I do commissions plenty of time. There's been a recent murder case involving muskets. Really? The perpetrator's methods appear to be very similar to what is described in the novel. It might, it might just be a cover-up, though. Huh? Really? But Paima didn't see anything about that in today's papers. It was kept in shadows because the Baron has much power. The Marachose Phantom hasn't yet released any information to the public. Yeah. Because the investigation is currently at a standstill. Mm -hmm. The murderer is extremely cautious. I see. A murder involving firearms? But not that many people use those in Fontaine, right? Well, more than in the rest of the world. The closest we had was Mika Schmidt with a crossbow. Could it be someone for your platoon? Impossible. We perform a routine inspection of our firearms and ammo reserves every day. Uh huh. If one of the weapons had been fired, it would stick out like a sore thumb. Sure. Besides, I trust the members of my platoon. That's a leader. However, well, that's all I can disclose about the case today. <laughs> okay, abrupt. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, it's the rest of the secret. I hope you all can go back and get some shut eye. You can decide tomorrow whether or not you'd like to join the investigation with Come me. Come on, Chevrita, you know I'm gonna join. I'm aware this might not be the ideal time to add more to your plate, but there's not the that much on it. People we have, I'm the hungry. The chances that justice will prevail. True. Can't someone from the special patrol help you investigate? Carrying out investigations isn't actually supposed to be our responsibility. Mm -hmm. Our job is to apprehend the perpetrators. Oh. Finding them is really up to the Marachose Phantom. Right, you really are the forces. You could say I'm taking part in the investigation out of personal interest. I see. They need to get you horses then. I don't want people so to see muskets people. in a negative way. And also, <laughs> I'm concerned about the similarity between the crimes and the story. I understand. You mean, 
they might be connected somehow? What I'm assuming is that the person that's doing this is using it as like a cover up. Like, oh, it might be, it might be the people from, it might be the good people from the story. When it's not, they're just trying using it for crime. I suspect so. Right. Just to make myself clear, this is not an order, nor is it a deal of any kind. Mm -hmm. It's a request. Nothing more. I only saw it as such. If you two have any interest in the case after we finish filming tomorrow mm -hmm. and are willing to assist me, then I would be most grateful. I got you. Hmm. What do you think, Traveler? It's already been quite a day. Let's give it some thought tomorrow. I would have said yes yeah, already. Yeah, you're right. Paimon's getting a little tired, too. We've really been hustling all day. <laughs> hustling. You'd better head back and get some rest. Uh huh. It's good to keep a calm mind, especially when you're about to make an important decision. That's true. Otherwise, when the moment comes, you might end up like that shopkeeper and yep. not even realize that the right choice is right there in front of you. Mm hmm. All right. That's been quoted twice already, so the crack of muskets breaking the silence, act one, finished. The answer might just be right in front of us, guys, at some point. The answer might just be right in front of us. I'm just saying, they've been hinting at it quite a bit till 10. Oh, this works, because we're before 12. Let's go. Good morning. It was before 10. I'm a silly idiot. You know, I thought about it. I was like, I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. So, um, good night. Good morning. It's finally time to meet up. <laughs> It is. Paimon even dreamt of making the film last night. We did skip a day. If we wasted their time. Right, we're meeting at Hotel de Boer. Mm -hmm. Let's get going. I'm going. I was waiting for you to finish talking, which you love doing. Yoi, Ayaka. Ayaka, you're here. You're already here. See, how we didn't. We didn't have the same order. Good morning. Xavier said yesterday afternoon went well. Decent. Yeah. And how about you, Ayaka? What were you up to yesterday? What did you explore? After we split up, Ayato went to see Udex Nervilech at the Palais Marmonia. That conversation must have been fascinating. I was originally thinking of going with him, but he said he could manage it himself. Right. He told me to go see the sights around Fontaine and to enjoy Fontaine. the local culture. Okay, so what did you enjoy? So I rode the aqua bus with Yoimiya Cute. and visited the opera house on Erinias Island. I like it. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what we saw there. <laughs> Two mechanical puppets that were dancing together. That's them. You've already seen them, right? I've killed them many a times. <laughs> the dirge of Copelium and Copelium... Um, um, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, yeah, those two. Amazing, aren't they? They're pretty cool. We sat and I watched them. for quite a while. It was Quite amazing, quite a while. Like we could keep watching them forever. Yep. Oh, it was the same for us the first time we saw them too. Definitely. It does lose its charm once you've seen it 6,000 times, but it is still very cool. Afterwards, we went swimming at the beach. Wow. Well, diving to be exact. Uh huh. It was the first time I ever breathed underwater. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna happen much more. I held Ayaka's hand and we counted down together. Uh huh. Three, two, one, and then splash! We were beneath the waves. Nice sink. Literally and figuratively, we were sink beneath the waves. At first, oh! I didn't dare to open my mouth. Whoa! Once okay. I my breath any longer. I decided to take a big breath. This in. must be awful, yeah. <laughs> Turns out the water wasn't as salty as I imagined. It didn't Wait. really taste like anything at all. Okay, that's. Imagine getting your your brain to comprehend you can breathe underwater. Before I knew it, I was breathing like normal down there. It was an amazing feeling. Ayaka said I was too nervous and needed to loosen my grip. <laughs> she got used to everything way faster than I did. I, but what is with this echo? You're talking to me from not in the underwater. Also, this little guy is frozen in time. I knew that the traveler could do it, so I had no doubt we could do it too. That helped me feel at ease as soon as we dove in. This is so cool, the little underwater cutscene. The underwater world in Fontaine truly is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love seeing the Romaritime flowers blossoming underwater. Yeah. Like little candles lighting up the streets at night. Uh-huh. Yeah, and there were so many creatures that we've never seen in Inazuma. <laughs> uh-huh. Like those fish that shimmer like a sword blade. Yep. Whoosh. Oh, and those big fish that call when they see people. Ooh. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, you mean hunters, rays, and blubber beasts. That's right. <laughs> I just love the name blubber beast. Uh huh. Just wait till Pops and the others hear about this. They probably won't believe a word I say. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I don't think they'll believe anything either. Boop. That's cute. That's really cute. I like that. They put so much effort into that little bit. Really nice. Yo and Mia was down there for quite a while. It was dark before we finally rode the aqua bus back to the city. Mm hmm. I figured she'd want to sleep in today. Sure, but she didn't. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, even I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get up. <sighs> I still felt like I was drifting in the waves when I went to sleep last night. That's nice and therapeutic, though. But as soon as I woke up today, I remembered that we'd all be shooting a film together. Uh huh. And I'm ready to go. That's my queen. Speaking of the film, where is everybody else? Dead. My brother and Xavier were speaking to the restaurant owner about using the place uh -huh. as a filming location. They should be here soon. Don't worry, we'll put your name in the credits. As for the others, they. This is how you get a reel on credits list. <laughs> we're here. Hey, Chori, what's up? What chevreuse? Lovely. Now we just need Fufu. Please excuse my tardiness. I just finished Don't the special worry. patrol six mile morning jog. Classic. Six morning jog, classic. Dude, your tardiness is completely excused for that. Wait, six miles? Casual six miles. <laughs> I'm so tired. I heard you all chatting, uh -huh. so I decided to come down. I sure could use some of that endless energy everyone else has. You're saying you were sleeping here at the hotel? Well, to be fair, you spent your energy over 500 years of acting. I understand it. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Can someone fetch me a cup of coffee? <laughs> More milk, hold the sugar. <laughs> sure. I'd be happy to do that for you. Aw. No, you can't go anywhere. Please. <laughs> Have a seat over here <laughs> so I can get started on your makeup. Right, right, right. The last thing I want is coffee stains on my costumes. Fair, fair enough. I can get the coffee. It's the perfect job for an assistant. That's true. Yo, I, oh, oh my god, yo, champion. I want to see this. Uh, Do you think it's so actually going to make a difference? Energy. Seriously, what's her secret? Goes to bed at, at a regular time and probably has a healthy diet. There you go, you got everything. Sure look exhausted, Farina. <laughs> it's because you're not used to waking up so early, huh? You're a bum, huh? Of course not. I spent the whole night okay. reading the novel from this makes cover, sense. Marking sections that either need to be omitted or adapted. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. You were doing your work. Which still you could have just done the first part today, because we're not we're gonna record the whole thing in one day, right? Wow. Paimon didn't expect you to be so thorough. How else do you think she got all this knowledge? <laughs> Well, I was the biggest star in all of Fontaine, <laughs> after all. Was. It takes more than just a pretty face to earn a reputation like that. You know. I know how to get serious when the situation calls for it. That was a you know spot. I went all out when I was acting as an archon. So why wouldn't I do the same for my own life? You're right. Here's your coffee, Director Farina. Oh no, she's gonna, this is first person POV because she's got to spill it. Okay, we're good. Cool first person oh, scene thank then. You. The sound of being called director <laughs> and the aroma of coffee uh -huh. <laughs> feels almost as refreshing as hearing the birds chirping in the morning. <laughs> oh, it seems everyone has managed to arrive on time. Yeah, not you though. Hey, are those the fi figurants? What are they called? The extras? We've reached an agreement with the restaurant owner. We are free to use the second floor to shoot our film. But at what cost? It's pretty good. He is really looking forward to our film mm -hmm. and hopes that providing his restaurant as a filming location will attract more customers. Oh, that it will, Chief. Well then, Mr. Xavier, I'll leave the rest to you. Xavier, what's going on? Tell us. Okay, thanks. First, I'd like to introduce our new members. Wait a minute. That's Geneviève and Patrice. This is our prop manager, So Veronique. close, man. She'll be in charge of all the films, props, and items. Is Veronique and Geneviève pretty close. And this is Bono, uh -oh, our Bono. lighting technician. He'll so be in charge close. of lighting and illumination to set up each scene's atmosphere. So close to Patrice. It's not. <laughs> it's really not. Sure feels like we have some real professionals joining the crew now. Hello? You say I'm not one? First of all, please allow me to first express my sincerest gratitude to yeah, everyone yeah. on the crew. Blah, blah. When my investor informed <laughs> me yesterday that he wouldn't be able to provide the funds, I really thought that this was the nail in the coffin for this film. Right. I had no idea that I'd find wow, so many people good. willing to help me on such short notice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Don't worry, you're eternally in depth. No need to be so cordial, Mr. Xavier. We're all honored to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. Your works made a profound impression on me when I saw them back in Inazuma. Mm -hmm. Especially that scene by the hot pot place. I am sure that someday, 
This film will be remembered as a prime example of cultural exchange between Fontaine and Inazuma. We are going to make something iconic, yes. Yes. The story is the reason I agreed to join. Mm -hmm. I can't bear to even imagine what this film would look like without the very best director. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, I would like to make Thank a you for anyway, Kurt. That as the producer of this film, I'll do whatever I can to ensure that everything goes as smoothly as possible. Yes. This is not just my film. It also embodies the thoughts and feelings of every person here, mm -hmm. as well as the endless effort we are about to pour into it. I like, it's so <laughs> awkward when it's a situation where no one thinks something, and then someone says, I didn't think this, by the way. And I'm like, well, it feels like you did, because no one would think this. When he says, it's not just my film, I'm like, because do you think anyone here thought it was just your film? I don't think so, Chief. So, without further ado... The two musketeers will officially begin filming now. Yay. Little humble applause. You may take it from here, Director Farina. Director. I think you're going to die in the movie. You keep saying it very weird. Because it's right there in front of us. Listen up, everyone. I'm all ears. Oh, the whole gang lined up. Look at us. The first scene takes place when the two young musketeers are living at the Baron's home. Yes. Still unaware of all that is about to happen to them. I see. We'll need props and lighting to set the scene. Mm -hmm. Our lead actors can go get their makeup done mm -hmm. and extras. Please take this time to go over your positions. <laughs> We're going to have so many scenes. We have two... Two extra. Oh no, wait. We don't have any. These aren't extras. Never mind. Whoa. Wait, are they? Seems Farina's really kicking things into gear as the director. Of course. Is everyone clear? Yes. I don't want anyone traipsing around the set like umbrella finches. I wouldn't dare trape around. All right. Cameras will start rolling traipsing. as soon as know. the set is ready. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. Haha, <laughs> waves. I get. It's funny because. Uh. <clears throat> Not the kind of waves that drop oh. people. I mean, the good kind of waves. Farina, <laughs> we got to do. You're saying that wasn't even an intended pun? Actual bone. Uh, seems like she's still a bit traumatized by that. Yeah, who wouldn't? Anyway, let's go see if there's anything we can do to help. All right. Fiction and reality inside and outside the frame. I get it, because there's going to be our story that we're going to be recording, you know, making a big deal out of it. And at the same time, there's going to be the story about Chevreuse and trying to catch these I filthy meanies. Here. Why don't you try asking someone else? I just wanted to see how you were doing. You know, you haven't touched your coffee yet. Did, did Yoi make it wrong? What's going on? Oh, hello. He's like, hmm, this pillar. Yes, it's beautiful. I think I'll lean on it on this angle. <laughs> I want to hear this too. Ah, so this is what a musket looks like. You didn't know? Not exactly. <laughs> Ah, so these pistols is what is the thing. Hey, gang. Oh, let me do the makeup. Oh, let me smudge some stuff on his face. This will be great. Hayaka has mentioned you to me before. She said that you two were great friends when you were kids. Really? That's cute. Let me do your makeup real quick. Looks perfect. There you go. And a clown nose. No talking. I'm thinking about how to do your eyeshadow. <laughs> ah, yes. To help me really look the part. Yeah, you will look really cute. You know what's very funny is that he's usually the non-talkative one. He's actually being out non-talkative. To achieve a more young and naive look for this scene. Uh-huh. Are you saying the wrinkles around my eyes are too deep? She's asking you to stop talking. You just have too much of a calculating look in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you sure don't mince your words. It seems you really haven't changed much. That's nice. Does not mean she's real? Quiet. See? Shut up, Ayato. Young man. So annoying. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Holy moly, that's a big boy. Where's the rails? Yaimita. Wait, you're doing lighting now? How about here? <laughs> a little more to the left. She doesn't know her left and right bet. You got it. Hey, Yaimita. Oh. Do you need a hand? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. You know, doing I was gonna say this. I don't like designing a fireworks show. Yes. It's interesting to imagine what kind of atmosphere the lights will create. I totally understand what you're saying. I heard that the traveler will be operating the camera, uh -huh. and Paimon will be the clapper loader. Uh huh. <laughs> Those rules are just perfect for the two of you. Oh, you mean behind the camera? You're saying I'm ugly? Uh, this quest just keeps getting better. Really? <laughs> Is that because 
it'll be easy for Paimon to hold the clapper board while flying? Yeah, that's why. Well, sure, there's that, but that's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> what is it? I just think that after all your journeys together, you two must have developed a super close bond and just <laughs> naturally know how to work with each other. Uh huh. If I'm not mistaken, the director will want the cameras rolling as soon as the clapper board goes clack. Uh, actually, we start rolling before that. The clapper board just gets edited out in post prod. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's amazing to see the magic behind filmmaking. Yes, amazing. Yonia, we need lights over there too. Yonia, we need lights. Oh, on it. Yeah, we're kind of distracting them right now. Back to work. I know. Tell me later. It's okay. Oh, it's exciting to see so many people working together to bring the film to life. I know. It's kind of crazy. Oh, she's gone. Seems like Yonia's really getting into it. There's nothing she wouldn't get into. But she was right. We do have a super close bond. Don't we? If you wait long enough, the no option pops up. So I'm going to be waiting for that. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> really happy to hear that. You didn't really give me a choice, Paimon. Oh my god, right in front of me. It was Paimon. Paimon's the one. Is Yoi completely gone? I think so, huh? So this is a real musket? Nor. No, it's just a prop weapon. <laughs> Not bad. Have you seen a real musket before? <laughs> so this is a real musket? Charged and loaded? Only in books and newspapers. I made this one based on the relative shape and proportions I saw in reference images. Wow. When we're filming, some special gunpowder will be applied around the muzzle. Just a flash, Which will yeah. help create the flash and smoke effects of a real gun being fired. So cool, dude. Which means it'll be up to the actors to portray the recoil. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right. The sound <laughs> effects for gunshots will also be added in post-production. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why I find this so funny. Thank you, Veronique. I think I know where to start now. Lovely. She's so cool, guys. However, the musket's gears and firing pin could still use some work. Adding some wear on the metallic components will make them appear more realistic. I like it. Also, be sure to rub the muskets with some oil each time before we start shooting. Uh -huh. That'll give the impression that the firearms have been well maintenanced. I love this. Good point. I like that. You seem to know a lot, Miss Chevres. I assume you use these types of firearms on a regular basis? Well, you try to not have to use them. Yes, I perform routine maintenance on my weapons every day. Just like we as people need to eat and sleep, mm -hmm. muskets need to be cleaned and maintained. Mm -hmm. I also perform similar care for my sword every day. True. And familiarize myself with its shape and weight. To the point where it feels like a natural extension of my body. Oh man, we hear this so often, it's so poetic. Yes. This way, yes. our weapons will never betray us in the heat of battle. That's what I'm saying. Yes, well said. Yes. It seems we have the same philosophy on this topic. Cute. Oh, Cute click. sounds like they found a common interest to talk about. Uh-huh, we still need one of those, huh? <laughs> Though these props differ from the muskets I use, I can still give you some pointers. I swear these are just tiny boys. Good. I look forward to your instruction. Why are you trying to shoot? Oh yeah, I remember why you're trying to shoot someone. First and foremost, never point the weapon at anyone, regardless of whether it's a real or prop weapon, or mm -hmm. whether you're holding it or it's on the table. This holds for any time when you're not actively engaging an enemy. Yes, then there's going to be trigger discipline. Never have your finger on the trigger, except when you're about to shoot. Okay, understood. When aiming the musket, uh -huh. extend your arm so that it's level with your shoulder. Gotcha. Use your eye to look down the weapon's sights. Gotcha. Can I close one eye? Like this? Oh, damn! <laughs> Look absolutely insane to me. This does not look like Genshin. Ayaka with gun. Gun Ayaka. Not bad. Now try saying your lines. Die, bit. <laughs> this is the end of the road for you. I can't get over this is real. Good. Now turn your body a little. That way, you'll give your enemy less of a target to work with. That's kind of cool. Relax your shoulders. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Okay. This is the end of the road for you. <laughs> She's aiming way down. Huh. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Chiori. No, you're ruining your creative flow. Ah, oh, this dude. Director Farina, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Now, of all times. Oh? What is it? Okay, I'm intrigued. Like this? <laughs> so many shots of her with a gun, man. Yes, much better. Nice. What do you think? Well, about what? Mm-hmm. I do see your point. Uh-huh. But are you sure you wish to do this? I think he's trading roles with Ayaka, maybe. I believe it would be most fitting. Okay. Well, if you insist. All right. I understand. I'm intrigued. <clears throat> Miss Ayaka! Miss 
Chevrus. Chevrus? Could you please come over here? Yes. Huh? What's going on? Are we going to start filming now? No, nah, there's some important news. Let's go see. Yes. I want to hear it. What is it? Stop putting so much pressure. I have a question for you, Miss Chevrus. Oh. Would you be willing to play the role of a musketeer? Oh, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> to clarify, I would like to turn over my role to Miss Chevrus. Okay, well, I was, it, it was, I was, I was not too far off with the but guess. But brother. But brother, what if I'm stuck? Don't worry, Ayaka. I actually view this as a good thing. Okay. I was becoming troubled trying to set aside some time to speak to the staff at the Palais Marmonia. Mm -hmm. I would like to have some conversations about the cultural exchange between our two He countries. doesn't care about the movie. And I've heard that the bureaucratic process here can get rather complicated. Put him on trial. Now I will be able to focus on my work. Wow. Besides, you also know that I'm not really one for public performances. I feel you on that, though. Are you sure you're not siblings? You also have a little mole under your lip. Are you really sure? Really, really sure? From a director's point of view, I also felt like the relationship between the two musketeers in the original story could be improved. Uh-huh. The older brother in the story plays the lead role with his overbearing character. Yeah. But this causes his character to overshadow that of his sister. I see. And the theme of the two supporting and relying on each other isn't conveyed very well. Mm-hmm. But... If we were to change the siblings to two sisters of a similar age, yeah. then that aspect of the story might come through more clearly. Definitely. Also, I've seen you instructing Ayaka. That cold and dignified personality is exactly what we need for the older musketeer. <laughs> of course, even with all these insights, the decision should still be made by Miss Chevrus. Now that we've dumped all this news onto you, it's still on you to make the decision. But you know, when you say no, you're gonna feel really bad. Uh... Yep, have fun with that one, Chief. Chevrus mentioned that she really likes the story, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a bit that she'll take the role. She still has to prioritize her work, and we don't know if she's a big fan of acting. All right, I'll take the role. Let's go. Good, it's decided then. I'll get started on making edits to the script. Yes. Send Ayato away. We'll also need to make some immediate adjustments to the lighting, props, and costumes. Poor, poor girl that's making oh, the costumes, man. I have a feeling that our adaptation will be even better than the original story. <laughs> You're doing a great favor for me, Miss Chevrus. You have my gratitude. Chevrus. Why is it so hard to add an E? Even if you said Chevrus, sir. Okay, that's actually worse. Never mind. Don't mention it. I like this character, so if anything, I should be the one thanking you. Humble. Well... Since my brother is the one who brought up the idea, I suppose there's no need to worry. You're right. Let's go, Miss Chevrus. I look forward to working with you. Yes. Please, just call me Chevrus. <laughs> Don't call her that. Call her Chevrus. I totally understand the struggles people had with name pronunciations Seems like now. you're really going out of your way to solve the problem I was having with your makeup. Oh, that's very sweet. That's the only reason he did this, actually. Surely you jest, Chiori. I assure you that I was mostly motivated by a desire to spend more time on formal business. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. You really think I'd buy that? <laughs> According to what I've heard from Ayaka, her brother is someone who can juggle ten different matters at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure you have other reasons for backing out. He's also investigating the two, the murderer. Perhaps. Ayaka always said she wanted to go out oh. and see more of the world, just like the Traveler. Wow, Ayaka. But I feel that she needs not only to see other nations, but also to make some different kinds of friends. Mm hmm I think it would be harder for her to make new connections with me constantly by her side. Yeah. I would like to give her some space. He's kind of the father figure. All right, go on. Spoil her some more. <laughs> Ayaka, it's too bad you're stepping down from the role. I really wanted to see you act as a musketeer. <laughs> I like, because she knows them, right? She's, she's like, oh yeah, spoiler some more, like you always have. It makes sense, though. This is the punishment you deserve. <laughs> no need to poke fun at me. Come on. I'd wager that you also felt that I wasn't the best candidate for the role. I wasn't thinking about that at all. <laughs> it's a little hard for Paimon to imagine you saying those lines. So you going back to work now? Yes. I've made an appointment to meet some people from the Palais Mermonia. Okay. Now, I will have some more time to prepare. Sure. Traveler, oh. get the camera ready. Paimon, get what the What if he gets to meet the knave as well? Actors, 
to your positions. We're about Filming. to start shooting the first scene. I'm rolling. <laughs> Go on now. And please take good care of Ayaka. I wasn't planning to, so good thing you reminded me. Yep, don't worry. Imagine. We're friends, dude. You think I wouldn't do that? Good luck on your work, dude. Thank you. I look forward to seeing the film when it's finished. Yeah, I'm not sure you're invited anymore. Transition! Whoa, that was so smooth, guys. The fade to all black. Right. Now that we're all here, let me what help set the scene at? for everyone. All right. The first scene takes place when our two main characters are still living at the Baron's estate. Yeah, we've been over this. They've been ostracized and verbally abused by others in the household, mm -hmm. but they still have no idea why. Okay. We want to capture how naive and innocent they are, despite their pain. Okay. Chevris will be playing the role of the older sister, Tulip. And Ayaka Yiris. will be the younger sister, Flower Alice. names. Be sure to get close-ups of the main characters at the right moment. So, we're gonna pronounce Tulip the French way, but Iris the English way. Cool. Silence on the set! My bad! Lights! Camera! Action! Bam, bam. Yo, it's Paimon cute stickers, dude. Paimita, you ready? Clap that shit. Let's go! <laughs> Tulip. Mother's I can't move the camera. Quite a while now. Yes. Perhaps she went to pick some flowers on the way home. You know how she loves flowers. You know those rainbow ones? Iris, Sorry. Tulip. I'm home. Zoom in for a closer shot with the mother. Zoom out. Mother! You were out for so long. I was beginning to worry about you. <laughs> I'm also worried of my I'm work. Sorry, but I'm rain by you. Elaine. Cute. Safe and sound. Here, I brought your favorite treats. Apple turnovers. I love apple turnovers. How did you know? Oh, you're my mom. Right. Mother, what are those bruises on your hand? Zoom in. Close up on the mother. Huh? What bruises? Oh. I wanted to see the bruises. I must have bumped into something while I was working yesterday. Ah, that's unfortunate. But I didn't notice them this morning. Uh-huh. Then perhaps they're from when I accidentally tripped when I was out just now. Ah, uh -huh, no. By the way, did you have fun playing at home? Yes, it's so fun here. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I hate it here. What's the matter, Iris? Focus on Iris. Well, we've realized that... No one really wants to play with us. People are mean. They even took Iris's doll and spat at us. What the hell? <sighs> and they even called us names. <gasps> they said we were... Stupid kids. Shh. It's all right. Don't worry. <sighs> Girls, listen to me. Pan over to all three. It doesn't matter what anyone says. Don't listen to them. No one can define you with such words. Yes. You both have wonderful lives ahead of you. Yes, Rain. Just like your names. Aww. You both blossom like beautiful flowers. Ah, the rain is watering the beautiful flowers. Maybe your time to blossom hasn't quite come yet. Mm -hmm. But one day, you two will bloom more beautifully than anything else. Wow. Don't let the soil you're in now ruin your future beauty. Understand? That's kind of pretty metaphor. Daughters. I like that. And cut! Cut! Very neat, lads. Take it's it again. Bad. Take it again. The actor's emotions were what? All on point. First Let's take? take? No way. Also, if our I knew, I knew she was gonna mention it. At the start of the scene next time. I was hesitant to like shit talk Paimon again because I was like, I've been doing it a lot already. I was like, oh yeah, just scream at the start of the scene, why don't you? Oh, uh, got it. She went, let's go. <laughs> Great. I was a little worried that my nerves would get the better of me. Well. What about you, Chevrus? It's actually kind of cool because your character had to be a little nervous right for that scene. I felt fine. The lines weren't too difficult at all. Uh -huh. Seems like Farina must have adapted the role nicely. Huge. <laughs> you two were great. I couldn't tell it was your first time acting in a film. Wow. You should have more confidence. Wow, Elaine. Thank you for your encouragement. Elaine, so sweet. Positions, everyone. We'll move on to the next scene after we try a few more camera angles. Really? Did I butcher it? Everything proceeds to great pace, and once again, Farina, or once Farina has adjusted some details to her satisfaction, begins to film the second take. This scene is when our two second scene. characters return home, only to discover their mother has been murdered. Oh no. Ready? Lights! Camera! Action! Let's go! She's gonna scream before clapping this time. Silence? Mother, we're back! 
Maman Mother? Maman Où êtes-vous Dramatic close-up. <gasps> What's wrong, Tulip? Can I get a... Can I get a Iris, dramatic close-up? Iris, stay close away! Uh-oh. Huh? Why? Oh, no. What's... Mother! No, not the tiny eyes! Mother... She's... Sleeping. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. There's poison in this cup. No! I could have sworn I've seen this kind of cup before. The reveal. Those aristocrats. They didn't even try to cover up their actions. Yeah, they got enough power. Oh. She even gets tears out. Incredible acting. Oh, you too? Iris, we need to leave this place. Yes. Leave? But now that Mother is gone... Where can we even go? Anywhere but here. Anywhere. Yep. All I know is that we can't stay in this house. She's right. But are we just going to let them get away with this? No. Well, for now, yes. But not long term. We'll have our revenge, I promise you. Just not right now. Aw. <laughs> Aw. Cut. Oh. Let's go. I didn't get to do any camera work. Wait. Waiting. We can't just leave mother here like this. At least. Oh. At least let me leave this rose with her. Rainbow rose. Yeah, it pans out. You actually see it. That's cool. That's why we went out in the first place. To buy her this flower. Aw. All right. Oh no. Goodbye, mother. We'll avenge you. Someday. Ah, oh, wow. They even got a composition. And cut! Wonderful job. Beautiful! Great performance! Didn't they say they had costumes, though? They were in the same thing, Farina. Oh my, you're so amazing, Ayanka! And were those real tears I saw? <laughs> How did you do it? You know, I was cutting garlic in my pocket. I was surprised, too. Onions. Thank you for the kind compliments. Actually, as soon as director Farina said action, I told myself not to think about anything. Whoa. I just felt the weight of the moment and became the character. That's nice. It's quite similar to practicing the art of the sword. New skill you unlocked. Clear your mind and focus only on what's happening in front of you. Right in front of you. Ayaka's performance was amazing. Have I discovered an acting prodigy? Oh yeah, you did that. Great job, champ. Pipe down, everyone! We need to move on to the next scene. No, no, no. I, a CVA with her right now. Actually, next scene or are we skipping this and then seeing the final cut at the end? Yeah, a full day of filming on set quickly passes. I was, I was worried that would happen. We say our goodbyes. No actual dialogue. Keeping the fast pace because now are we, done already? we have the Chevreuse but arc. Wants to keep playing with the clever board. Paimita, we have to hang out with our purple haired new bestie. Hmm. How do you feel, traveler? Your arm's sore from holding the camera all day? A little bit, but it was a lot of fun. I actually was gonna say a little bit too. Good work, you two. Hey, good work, you one. You too, Chevrolet. You were quite the actress today. Very good. I've read this novel many times before. I have a good grasp of my character's mindset. Well, you portrayed it very well. Anyway, do you remember my request from yesterday? Huh? A request? Oh, right! <laughs> So much fun that Pylon nearly forget. Nearly? You said, oh, right. That, may, that means you did forget. You have a case where the murders seem really similar to the cases in the novel, right? Uh-huh. So, uh, how are they similar exactly? I'm looking very sus. I'm very, like, thinking about it. They're similar because there were murders with muskets. In the story, the main characters grow up to become two musketeers, mm -hmm. always using their guns to carry out their revenge. Yes. And on each of the victims, they place a rainbow rose as a signal that they've returned. <laughs> You're saying there's rainbow roses here too? Yes. Oh that's correct. no. We found rainbow roses just like in the novel. <laughs> Seems like you're connecting the dots now. Well, I'm still pretty confident that someone's like, someone's messing with us. Oh, that does sound pretty concerning. Yes. Especially after seeing the script today. Oh, now Paimon can't stop wondering what kind of ulterior motive the murderer might have. <laughs> Uh, what do you think, Traveler? You're smart. Paimon wants to hear your thoughts. 
we're only here to assist, then I think we can join the case. Good. On behalf of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, thank you for your dedication to justice. Well, you said we were doing this off business, no? There's no time to lose. We should start investigating right away. Wow. Follow me. Really right into huh? it. Right now? But we just got done filming all day. Paimon's so tired. Then leave me alone. The most valuable intel always comes after nightfall. Uh -huh. They are like small, remote islands in the middle of the sea. If you don't stay vigilant, you will pass right by them in the fog. I getcha. That's how one of my favorite books always puts it, at least. It's very crime, yeah? It makes sense. You want to do things so in the dark so you can't get caught. Right Let's start by checking out some workshops that sell mechanical components. Sure. If the culprit is making their own weapons, it's very likely that they'll visit those sort of places. Makes sense. Okay, so we do have a double arc situation, which we were expecting. Either way, it'll be great marketing for our movie. <laughs> oh, livre. My boy book. What's going on? My boy book. Welcome to Le Show's Clockwork Workshop. Thanks. How can I help you? Uh, do you sell guns? Hello. I'd like to know if anyone has purchased some special components lately. Mm hmm Special components? Yeah. Sorry, could you be more specific? Like springs. I mean the kind of components that aren't typically used for clockwork toys, but for firearms. Mm hmm Huh? For firearms? No, no, we don't sell those sort of things here. Sir, there are components that work in clockwork stuff that also work in firearms. Don't misunderstand. I'm not here to cause any trouble. We are merely investigating a case, and we're hoping that you could cooperate. Yeah, don't be sus, Liv. Well, to be completely honest, I'm not even sure what kind of components that would entail. Springs. Has anyone ever purchased components here as an individual, rather than on behalf of an organization? Uh-oh. We have a lot of customers who buy toys, but those who buy components are all regular customers who buy in bulk on behalf of their organization. Thank you for your time. See ya. Hmm. <laughs> Is that so? I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. Livre. You're welcome. It's the least I can do. Livre. Livre, you're not turning any pages under my nose real quick, right? Get it, because his name is Book. Turning any pages. Listen, it wasn't that good, but I had to say something about him. Instead, listen up, dude. We made you a great ad company, ad, ad spot thingy. Now, you need to tell me if people are trying to make guns here. Oh, hey, Chevrus. Run out of oil for your musket again? <laughs> Hello, Estelle. I want to know if anyone has come to your shop recently to order some firearm components. See, she can be much more directed because they know each other. Oh, is this another case? Yes. Hmm, let me think. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Some people have requested that I make some prop guns for the Fontanalia Film Festival, but I refused all of those requests. Smart. Oh, why's that? There's like so many legal issues that can happen with this. Because there's no profit. <laughs> I only make things here that can do some real heavy lifting. Okay. I don't have the energy to make some new molds just for the festival. <laughs> then has anybody come specifically looking for mechanical components? Yes, actually. Well, hmm. I usually oh. sell off my scrap to the Fleuve Sandre. Fleuve? I don't typically give them to one specific person. Her Sandre was pretty good, but why Fleuve? I understand. Thanks for your cooperation. That's it. Don't mention it. Back to back, Always nothing. Happy to have the Musketeers patronage. Sure. Another transition. Nothing so Seems far. Like we haven't found any leads to go off yet. Or maybe she heard something between the lines. Yeah, unfortunately. She didn't. <sighs> All right. Let's head to Fliv Sandra next. That's better. Huh? That's good. Are you sure? Uh, people might not be so thrilled to see the captain of the special patrol there. Who cares? You think so, huh? Then I guess you don't know. <laughs> I'm their home slice. <laughs> no what? You'll see. That I grew up in Fleuf Sandra. Ah, cute. That's what we like to hear. The promotion story. I'm starting to worry that it's actually like about her or something. She hasn't read the book. The book about her. Here we go. Poopity poopity poo Hello, friends. We're home. So are you part of the Spina? Are you part of the Spina then? This says you'd assume where shady business happens. At the same time, these people do seem kind of humble. Emerald, you're not your gem name. Hello. I'd like to ask some questions. Hey, Emerald. I don't know anything. <laughs> well, this is the most sus answer I've ever seen. Don't worry. I'm not here to arrest anybody. You say that now. <laughs> it's the truth. Here. Take this as my guarantee. It's my gun. Wait. Did Paimon just see what she thinks she saw? Is the captain of the special patrol bribing a citizen? <laughs> Shh. Keep your lips sealed and no one will ever know. Besides, it's called buying info. 
Seems you're different from the other guards. <laughs> what do you want to know? Have you heard anything related to muskets in Fleuve Sandra lately? <laughs> anything at all? <laughs> muskets, huh? All I know is that about two weeks ago, we started hearing some loud noises at night. They go bang. It's so loud that it's been waking me up. They go bang, bang, bang. Were they gunshots? Yes. Possibly. It's hard to tell around here. You know, because it's so echoey and moist. Someone's house collapsing, a pipe exploding somewhere. It's Sounds like gun crafting. But the noises I'm talking about definitely happened after I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Do you know where the noises were coming from? Upstairs. I don't remember clearly. I'm gonna need a little bit more more on my champion. <sighs> Is it that you don't remember, or that you need to think about it some more? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> then please, think about it some more. Yep. <gasps> she's giving her even more, Mora! Nope, I didn't see anything. Maybe she's just giving out some pâte de fruits. The noises came from the end of the southern waterway. I came out and had a look for myself when I wasn't sleeping well, but I didn't dare get too close. Uh-huh. That's all I know. Alright. Alright, I'll take your word for it. But I'll come back for my money if it's fake. Thanks for the pot de fruit. <laughs> Told ya. That's that's what money means in the underground, guys. Uh, pot de fruit. Uh, what? No need to be surprised. I grew up here, remember? Uh huh. I know how to get people around here to talk. What talk? <laughs> What's a pot de fruit too? Seems you catch on pretty quick. <laughs> now then, let's keep going. I like her a lot, guys. I didn't expect her to be like this at all for some reason, but she's really cool. Boys. Oh, of course, the barkeep. Oog. He's gonna tell us to talk to Oog. I'm sure of it. It's been a while, Tetro. Tetro. Please, just get on with your request. Wow. I want to know if you've heard anybody talking about muskets lately. I'm gonna need some fruit paste. <laughs> Information isn't free, you know. Yeah, well, I'll give you some information back. I've heard that bandits have been extremely active in the countryside recently. There you go. And they've been affecting the delivery of goods to Poisson. Poisson. I can allocate some more manpower to help out with that problem. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> You're still as helpful as ever. I like this, though. I like the helping each other out. One of our men got drunk at dinner about a month ago and lost his gun. Yeah. Three days later, it turned up in the corner here. Okay. What's weird about you just forgot where you put it, right? Kind of suspicious. This is Fleuf Sandra, my friend. Anything of value left in the tavern won't ever make it to the next day. Uh huh. But that gun turned out to be an exception. It didn't get any new wear and tear on it, and didn't even appear to have been fired. I see. We were quite mystified as to what could have happened. Right. I suspect it came back because the weapon was already known to the guards. Uh huh. You mean. A criminal was afraid the Marochose Phantom would use the shot marks to track them down? Some? Maybe. But if that's the case, the culprit really took great care to avoid getting caught. Yeah. I didn't say anything about a criminal. <laughs> oh. Floof Sandra, knowing who was killed Floof in Sandra. what clothes you're wearing today. Uh-huh. It's the guy living in the east side, isn't it? I've never liked him. Wow. Every time he's here, he just orders a drink and sits there with a nasty look in his eyes. <laughs> in the first place oh yeah, don't bother even if you ask he wouldn't admit to owning a gun to some strangers not to mention the captain of the special security and surveillance patrol but how about the sur surprising mega legend of Mondstadt, savior of lewis first sage of boor and whatever he's right damn it i know you grew up here shavras mm -hmm. even though you're on good terms with the spina you've still been gone too long not many people know you here now and a lot of people don't like the special patrol. What do you mean? She's like so young. She hasn't been gone for that long. I know. <laughs> She's very raw. So take my advice and don't show your face too much around here. It's for your own safety. I don't trust this guy. I'll come and go as I please. And I'm afraid I'll be appearing more often due to my work. <laughs> All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. Because I will be the one to point my gun at you. I don't trust Tertro, guys. Got a problem I can solve it for you. Can you solve any problem? Theoretically, I don't believe there's any problem that can be solved by force. I don't know, he says he's with the Spina, maybe I should trust him. I don't know, guys, I don't know, I kind of want to be a Spina enjoyer. After all, Demoiselle is my favorite character. And here is a little camp that seems pretty abandoned, so- Well, not abandoned, because someone- someone cooking some. What's all this? Some broken planks and barrels, as well as some liquor bottles? Very high-res liquor bottles. This must be the drunkard dude. Yes, but have a closer look, Paimon. The one who lost his thing. Hmm? Even though somebody has purposefully tried to clean them up, 
These are obviously marks from musket bullets. <laughs> what? That looks cleaned up to you? In other words, someone was here trying to improve their shot. Uh huh. They were using the barrels and bottles for target practice. Of course. <gasps> Could it have been the killer? The murderer. Your guess is as good as mine. Although many people at Fleuve Sandra own guns, yeah. few hide the fact from others. Okay. And even fewer would go to such lengths to hide markings from practice shots. Sure. Anyway, let's go. There might be more to this. So it sounds like someone with experience then. A lot. A lot of experience. Seems like that's all we'll be able to uncover for today. No. Hyma feels like we managed to learn a lot more here than up on the surface. Yeah. Yes. But that makes Assuming sense. Assuming that everything we found is indeed connected to our suspect, then their timeline was probably something like this. Oh, movie moments. A month ago, our suspect found a gun and took it home to disassemble it. Yeah. Once he'd figured out its mechanics, he brought it back. Makes sense. In the following weeks, he used some parts to create his own makeshift musket. Yeah. And took it to the Fleuve Sandra for target practice. Sounds about right. Then, a few days ago, he found his target and carried out the murder. Yeah. Once the deed was done, he left a rainbow rose on the body, just like the scene in the novel. Yeah. Hmm. That all makes sense to Paimon, but we're still no closer to figuring out the killer's identity. It's true. About the guy who died, this is a good question. The deceased was a resident of Fleuve Sandra. Okay. It's said that he was a poor, solitary man. But if we're following the novel, wouldn't the guy have been a nobleman? I mean, I get what we're saying. Yeah. It's, it's probably not... It's also something I'm trying to figure out. But it doesn't... <sighs> I don't know, I feel like putting a rose on someone and supposedly you're the good guy then, bit easy. If we are indeed following the novel, and there's a story behind the murder, then this murder should be an act of vengeance. Yeah. But according to our investigation, the deceased didn't have any enemies. Maybe he used to. He was no saint, but no one's heard of a rival who hated him enough to shoot him dead. Much less care to leave a rose on his body. Yeah. What message is the killer trying to convey? And to whom exactly? <laughs> Could they be the novelist? We've thoroughly investigated that possibility. Okay. He claims to have spent the whole day at the opera house on the day of the murder, and the staff there have confirmed his account. Oh my god, this is a dupe. It's a body dupe. Okay, so he has an alibi. Fake. Not only that, he lacks a credible motive as well. Uh-huh. He has a family of his own, and both of his parents are still alive. Right. I've looked into his records. He was adopted at the age of six, adopted. and all the proper procedures were followed. There are also records of him at an orphanage before then. And any news about this weird man that died and his parents? In the story, the mother of the two musketeers was murdered after the children turned 10. Yeah. Of course, he could have changed the children's ages, but I don't want to assume anything without evidence. Okay. More importantly, I've also had a chat with him in person. He didn't seem like the kind of person who would pull the trigger to kill a man. Maybe he hired a hitman. Then, what should we do now? We have all this new information, but it doesn't help us move forward. More investigating. Investigations take time. I didn't expect us to catch the culprit in just a single day. Uh-huh. Paimon's very impatient. How about this? Let's spend the next few days filming with the crew. Yes. We can continue the investigation once we're done with the film. Okay. I'm sure that given time, new leads will present themselves. Okay, I'm, I'm all for it. Wait, but weren't you saying Intel is like small remote islands in the middle of the sea <laughs> just a moment ago? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you just miss them if you were to stop looking? Well, you will still be looking. Ah, but the book had more than one reference to the islands, Paimon. <laughs> oh? What else did it say then? I'll tell you tomorrow. As long as you spend enough oh. time sailing through the fog, you'll eventually come across an island. Okay. Fiction and reality inside and outside the frame. I like it. Okay, very interesting. So, so you're just saying as long as we... As we keep, keep trucking... We'll figure out something. What? Never thought that the captain of the security and surveillance patrol could come from the Fleuve Sandra? No, I'm not shocked at all. I'm sure it wasn't easy. You mean rising through the ranks? Yeah. It was a struggle, for sure. Uh-huh. But as long as you can distinguish yourself through your accomplishments and yeah. skills, you'll eventually be recognized for your worth. I'd say so. If you look at it another way, my life at Fleuve Sandra has actually taught me a lot of valuable skills. Mm. Greatest it's mindset. Like how to barter with criminals, or how to think in their shoes. Greatest mindset. Of course, I'd appreciate it if you could keep this a secret between us. Don't worry, I'm not the kind of person to just spill the beans. I would never spill the beans, dude. Beans are too good to be spilled. <laughs> okay, there we go, part two. 
See you in a second, I need to take a drink. Real quick, this was the recap about our second act. The film's shooting is going smoothly, the story recorded in the camera seems to be performed somewhere beyond the frame. The Lonely Isle appeared in silence through the dark fog of night. Wherever shall it lead you? The Lone Island glimpse through fog is what it's called. We have to wait until 10 again. This isn't even that early. Why is Fufu so tired? Purina. Ah, it's filming time again. Yes. Our schedule is jam packed for the next couple of days, too. Yes. We've got so many different locations and sets to cover. Yes. <sighs> anyway, let's head out and meet up with the others. Head out, quite literally. I am in right now. Uh, I don't even know. Okay. My good friends, we've made it once more. What's up, crew? She looks so cool. I love her outfit. It's such warm colors. I really like it. It feels like my kind of fit. Why do we have to come here at 10? <laughs> oh, wait. The Lone Isle glimpsed through fog. There we go. We started. It's been a full day. Both the filming and the criminal investigation progress at a steady pace over the next few days, which we skip completely. We're sailing right now. We're sailing. Done sailing. Good work, everyone. Thank you. We're looking to wrap Warm with our night. two main ladies today. Wow. I can already smell our success. <laughs> I just smell wet dog. You must be that commission girl again. What do you mean, looking to wrap? It means completing the filming of all our scenes. Finalizing everything we've recorded for them so far. Oh, aren't you the expert now? Yeah, but I've been working on it. Oh my god, Rainbow Roses. This upcoming scene is the, two the murderer. Musketeer's final confrontation with the Baron. Yes. There will be quite a bit of action, but no choreography beyond what we've already rehearsed. Okay. Anyway, get ready. Light. <laughs> Camera. Action. I'm worried. Is someone actually going to get shot? Is that what's about to happen? Is that the island in the fog? I'm worried. The view is beautiful tonight. It reminds me of that fateful night ten years ago. Oh, he's gonna be so absolutely disgusting, right? I know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say about what happened to their mom. Hmm. And now that I've said it, I can even make yeah. out the faint fragrance of herbal tea in the air. Yeah. Enough, villain! It's time that Enough. you pay for the death of our mother! Yes. My dear Iris, have you forgotten your manners? How can you speak like this to your own father? Kill him. <gasps> I'd sooner swallow all of my teeth than call you father. <laughs> what did I expect? Seems the daughters have turned out to be just as obstinate as their foolish mother. Take off the sunglass. You don't deserve the sunglass or the suit. In this world, mora and status is everything. The irony that we're filming this without paying anyone. She thought she could blackmail me using her children and force me to grant her recognition and concessions? Ah, how naive can a woman be? Kill him! Mother never asked a single thing of you. All she wished was for us to live a peaceful life, just like the others. Yep. It was you who personally brewed the poison of prejudice and sent Mother to her death. Compared to that deadly poison, the two bullets that will oh. soon pierce through your heart will be like sweet mercy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly why I said you're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Really? So let's see. What is stronger, Mora and power, or the two muskets in your hands? <laughs> how, is he, how does he think he's going to turn this around then? Get them! Oh, what? I get to play the. I get to play her. It'll be okay. There's no we'll way. Other, Iris. We'll cover each other, Iris. Whoa! Bang! That's kind of cool. No, <laughs> give me more. I didn't even get the verse. You've lost. No, no. Reset. Play again. I didn't record the scene. Well, reset it. I can't believe it. To think I'd lose to my own two kids. What did you expect, you silly goose? We are no children of yours. And we'll never call that place our home. Yes. <laughs> then tell me, what did you do all this for? Revenge. You lost your mother and will soon kill your father as well. What will you gain in the end? Closure. Sentences for your crimes. Praise. <laughs> we will gain... Our long-awaited justice. Bang. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. That's actually kind of cool. 
Leave the flower there. It's over. We've won. Finally. It's over. What's the moral now? Do you think they're actually gonna feel relief or regret? Oh. Seems like relief so far. Oh. Or is it? So where will you go now, Tulip? <laughs> I'm not too sure, Iris. Maybe somewhere with lots of flowers? Aww. After all, Mother always did love going where the blossoms were. What about you? It's the place where, um, it's the place from the World Quest. It has a bunch of flowers. I want to go visit Mother's grave. That's deep. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's <laughs> stop. Huh? Tulip, look! Who are we seeing? What is it? It's mother's favorite. <laughs> the rainbow rose. I saw this earlier. Look, it's blooming again. Whoa. <laughs> cut. Excellent. I should that say cut. Was beyond mesmerizing. <laughs> Even I didn't. He got up. Careful. To go so well. Careful. And we got it in a single take. One take. Wow. All right, everyone. We've got a wrap for Tulip and Iris. Whoa, congrats. Congratulations, Ayaka and Chevra. Amazing performance. Great job. You've already wrapped your roles. Thank you. I didn't expect our parts to wrap so quickly. <laughs> I didn't get to play as her at all. I wish I could savor the experience for just a bit longer. Don't worry, you could be the extra now. <laughs> Hyman totally understands. Hyman's not ready to say goodbye to the clever board either. But what if there's crime? It's really been a lot of fun. What if there's real crime? You are great too, Chevres. The way you said long awaited <laughs> It gave Paimon chills. Same. That is indeed my favorite line in the whole book. <laughs> I still remember trying to act it out in my room the first few times I read it. Justice. Whoa. She's gonna like someone. Mr. That type. I would have. Doesn't like stories where the guilty Nerd. are punished and justice prevails over evil. Nerd. Don't forget. I'm the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Uh-huh. Captain, I have something urgent to report. Uh-oh. We found an island. Please excuse me, everyone. I'll be back in just a moment. No, you won't. It's okay. Don't worry about us. Mm-hmm. Secretly, we're the murderers, somehow. Dude, that musket move was so cool, the E. You could hold it. Oh? Was she whisked away by work already? Yes. Mm. I was just about to tell her how great she did. Next time. It seemed like some urgent official business. You're gonna claim credit for how great she did anyway, Farina. I know you. <sighs> then perhaps we should thank the stars that we were able to wrap both of your parts so quickly today. Mm hmm Switching around the filming schedule would have been a real pain. Mm hmm Anyway, I actually came over to let everyone know that we're all done for today. Perfect. You can go home and get some rest. I'm not going to. I have some investigating to do. And one last thing, Where did, Miss Where did they go? They're so Your far. Your acting skills today were immaculate as always. <laughs> Are you sure you won't consider taking up full-time acting? See, I just happen to know this great troupe that's oh. still looking for a lead actress. Wow, Ayaka part two. Thank you for your kind words, Director Farina. Unfortunately... There are still many <laughs> matters that I have to take care of back home at the Yashiro Commission. They'll find someone else. I cannot remain in Fontaine to pursue an acting career. D honestly, become a, become an actor. Nevertheless, I will make sure a paid to treasure this incredible opportunity in my heart. Sure. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> but I understand. Just let me know if you ever change your mind. I like these two together. They have good chemistry. Oh, there's no wait. It's not her either. It's also about time for me to take my leave. Sure. But hopefully, I'll see you on set over the next few days. Of course. Even though my part's wrapped, I'd still like to swing by and help out the crew. You might help us fight. See you tomorrow, Traveler and Paimon. See you tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow. <laughs> there she goes. Well, what should we do next? Maybe we'll go investigate the case some more with Shepherds today. I think that's a good idea. Traveler, Paimon, please come with me. There you go. <laughs> No time. You could say that our ship has finally chanced <laughs> upon one of those small remote islands of intel. We didn't do anything. We got informed. But first... No way! They cleaned it up! I wanted to talk to her. I want to pick that flower too. Wait, they were filming the shot from right here. It was a fake prop flower? I feel betrayed. There's so many here, actually. Anyway, 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 anyway. What is it? 
What's the hint? What's the island? Over at a graveyard, isn't it? Close to Poisson? Yeah, right there. That's Poisson. didn't expect having to float this far after a full day of filming. Stop complaining. So, Chevres, why did you take us here? Keep walking, we weren't here yet. Did you find a new clue? Clearly she did. Affirmative. It wasn't anything conclusive, but it should show us a clear way forward. And it is impossible. Have you ever heard of someone by the name of Emily? Jolie, Emily, Jolie. Oh, you mean that famous perfumer? Oh yeah, Emily the famous perfumer, totally. She's a good friend of mine. She's lent me her aid several times in the past to resolve some difficult cases. Okay. After I discovered the rainbow rose at the scene of the murder, I sent it to her. After all, she's probably the foremost expert on flowers and scents in all of Fontaine. I, I don't remember if we had a conversation with her or not. And then? And then? There was nothing remarkable about the flower or the trace amounts of soil left on it. Oh. But according to Emily, the rainbow rose left by the killer was derived from a very rare cultivar. Okay. Ah. Paimon didn't know that there were different varieties of rainbow rose. Paimon just thought they grew everywhere in the wild. <laughs> Flowers that are deliberately cultivated will always show some different features true. from those that bloom in the wild. This is true. We already knew that the rose left at the scene belonged to a special cultivar. Okay. With Emily's expertise, we were able to pinpoint really? the place where it was first picked from. That's cool. This is like the place where both my cultures are meeting. The Dutch flower culture <laughs> with the French region culture. That rainbow rose was probably the killer. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it is. Precisely. And after we checked what we learned against some sales records from the past, we discovered that there's only one person in all of Fontaine who could grow and sell this specific cultivar. Wow. So it's not a small island. Uh, really? And who is it? Oh my god, here comes. It's Navia. <sighs> it's the novelist. It is the novelist, after all. But didn't you say he had an alibi? Yeah. To be clear, body I double. haven't changed my mind about him. I still don't think he was the one who pulled the trigger. Yeah, I said either body double or he, he hired someone. However, that doesn't mean the true culprit never visited him at his home or never purchased a rainbow rose from his garden. Right. Whatever the case, we will have to confirm a number of things with him. Sure. So you mean the next place we need to go is... His house. Yes. We're going to pay him a visit at his home. Deal. Boom, 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 boom. What is this place? There's a house here? What? Oh, he lives under a rock. <laughs> I get it. Okay, this is just a lookout to his house then. There it is. That should be his house. Got it. He's got mech guards. There are so many guard mech stationed around the place. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty unusual, right? There's a lot of flowers. According to what he told me last time we spoke, he hired them so he won't be harassed or disturbed. Hmm. <laughs> So they attack me on sight. Garden, but Paimon doesn't think we'll be able to pick one without alerting the Gardenet. Why would you want to pick one? Right. Which is exactly why I think there has to be a special connection between him and the killer. I see. So, should we knock? I'm so intrigued. Just wait here for now. I'd like to take care of a number of those Gardemex first. Are you just gonna shoot them? But they're so far away. She's got a musket. To do that. You bum? Don't forget, Paimon. I'm actually the real-life captain of the Musketeers. <laughs> nice idol. <laughs> a nice spoiler on the idol there. A nice fadeaway before I could see the end of the idol. Man. They know my tricks now. Whoa. Is this her burst? Press the aim button to start aiming. Aim at the enemy and press the shoot button to fire bullets at the target you're aiming at. This is Grand Theft Auto. There's no way, dude. Bang. Bang. Now that's... There's no way this character actually works like this, right? This is insane! Where'd the last dude go? Bang. Bang. This is so cool! I love that! Kind of brings me back to my Call of Duty youth. <laughs> actually, so oh, cool. Let's go. Actually, so oh, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Paimon's a little nervous now that we know he could be the killer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we? Go over our plan of action again? Yeah, you stand behind us, and if we die, you fly away. Deal? Deal. I'll go knock on the door and make sure it's safe inside. Once we're sure that we're in the clear, I'll ask him to come with us for a quick round of questioning at the guard's headquarters. <laughs> wow. But 
Can't we just arrest him? We have no evidence. We still have no evidence that he's the killer, or that he lent the killer any direct aid. Mm -hmm. Still, it would be appreciated if you could pick a rainbow rose from his garden for me while I'm talking to him. <laughs> It'll help the Mara Shosei Phantom confirm Emily's theory. Okay, so that's a good reason. Sure, no problem. Just be careful, Chevres. Be careful, goat. You are the goat, after all, and we only just met you, so... I really want that sniper thing to be an actual mechanic. I beg. I beg. It'd be so cool. Maybe her burst, but I... I it'd be odd, though. It'd be a very odd burst, but it'd be so cool. So interesting. But also, imagine making that and never using it again. It'd be such a shame. I don't know. I think I'd, I'd love to see that again. <laughs> I'm really Excuse hoping. Excuse me, Mr. Baptiste. Are you home? Baptiste, haven't we spoken to a Baptiste before? Who could it be at this hour? Oh, it's you, Officer Chavras. Chavras. Would you mind accompanying me to the guard's headquarters, Mr. Baptiste? We would like to ask you some questions about a case. <laughs> Look at us just crouched in the garden. Oh, is it still regarding the murder case from before? Yes, sir. I cannot confirm or deny that at this time. I mean, I don't know, sir. So it is then. No, I don't know, sir. Listen. I need you to come with me, Mr. Baptiste. Don't make me pull out my gun. <sighs> Miss Chavras, I'll save you the trouble. Oh, and you two over there? There's no need for you to pick my flowers <laughs> either. It's not time for them to bloom yet. Yeah, well, I still want one. <laughs> oh! Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just admit it, dude. I killed his ass. Whatever, I'm over it. By saving me the trouble, you mean... Yes, he'll, he'll plead. I will confess. I was the killer. <laughs> huh? Huh? And we're like fighting pose. Oh, looks like Pyro's ready to box. He, he just admitted he's guilty. Yeah, we can put him under arrest. Maybe that's his goal. He wants to murder someone in prison too. Please relax, everyone. I'm not armed. The musket you're looking for has been buried in my backyard. It's a bomb. Don't dig it up. Then it's my responsibility to inform you, Mr. Baptiste, that everything you say right now will be used as evidence <laughs> for the inevitable trial. <laughs> You may speak or whatever, and whatever you say may be used against you in the court of law or whatever. Yes, I am perfectly aware of that. I must say, I hate this feeling. The feeling of being right. Oh? Is it because I confessed? Or because you've been proven wrong? Oh, wait, she's wrong, that's true. Both, I suppose. So that guy in the Fleuve Sandré, why you kill his ass? For the same reason as the one I wrote out in my novel, of course. I did it to exact revenge. What did he do? Hmm. Tell us. I know you haven't figured out the link between the two of us. Had you done so, I'd have been taken away to the headquarters a long time ago. Well, my guess is that he was the one that made you an orphan. But that won't stop me from always remembering his grotesque face. After all, there you he go. was the one who killed my mother. Yeah. Your mother is still healthy and well. That ain't, that's, that's the adoptive mother. You know, I was adopted as a child. I was referring to my birth mother. No. Yeah. That was never recorded in the orphanage's records. Please forgive a six-year-old child for concocting some lies to protect himself after watching his mother die right in front of him. She... So, your novel, it was like a record of your life? See, I was worried about this. <laughs> it's not about a playable character, at least, but I was worried about that. No, of course not. It was a work of fiction with many embellished parts. Mm. But... I am indeed the illegitimate son of a wealthy and influential man who abused his power to murder my mother. Yeah. That part was a hundred percent real. That's the one part you don't want to be real. But the man you killed didn't have a mora to his name. Anymore. He was a hired assassin. Ah. Uh. An irredeemable beast who sank his fangs into a defenseless woman just for a few bags of mora. Yeah. But if that's really the truth, you wouldn't be telling us any of this now. You still haven't managed to take revenge against your father, the true mastermind behind it all. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that kind of thing from the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. But justice. I'm simply skeptical about your motives. Uh-huh. It's simple, really. I've grown tired of everything and don't want to shoulder this burden anymore. Uh-huh. You may have considered me too soft to pull the trigger. Well, as it turns out, you are exactly right. Uh-huh. I've become overwhelmed by the aftermath of the murder. Yeah. So you're going to call a stop to your revenge, just like that? 
Hmm. I think the dad might just be in prison. That's why he wants to go there. The true mastermind is too rich and too powerful for me. I have accepted that I will never be able to avenge my mother alone. <laughs> alone? <laughs> and so what? The characters in your book never gave up. <laughs> now, Officer Shavras, I'm the one who has killed a man, aren't I? <laughs> Are you trying to convince me to commit another crime? For justice. What's your father's name? How do you plan to prove the veracity of all of your claims? Uh huh. Well, <clears throat> come on. With you privately, Baptiste. Baptiste, I've been here the entire time. You can't do this to me. Sure. Why don't we speak privately at the guard's headquarters? Oh my god. No, it has to be here. I must ensure that we won't be overheard. I don't trust him. <sighs> Fine. Let's talk here. I can't believe he's benching us, dude. When I said won't be overheard, I meant by anyone. That was very clear to me, and I'm still hurt by it. I would like to speak with you and you alone. Don't accept. Be careful, Chivalous. We can go somewhere else for now. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, you'll tell me anyway, because you're my bestie. Please stay safe, Chivalous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the Jane Chamber in the background All there. All right. Let's hear it. Tell us quick. Will you really believe what I'm about to say? No. Well, that depends on what you're going to tell me. It's obvious that it depends. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Then listen closely. Cutscene? I can't hear anything! Speak up! <laughs> no. So that's how it's all connected. Guys, we're gonna reshoot the final scene of the movie, bet. So, it seems you believe me after all. Yeah. Do you want me to go public with this? Yes. No, of course not. Yes. At least, not right now. With the movie. Then why did you bother telling me? <laughs> You've read my work. What do you think? I think justice. She's gonna admit it. Even if you were to go public with all of this right now, he'd simply deny everything. Uh-huh. It's been too long. Almost 20 years. Anything that could be used as evidence has long faded away. Sure. Even if there might have been a solitary island of truth once upon a time, <laughs> it has long sunk beneath the waves by now. And that's where we're going to be looking, underwater. Justice will never find him. That's not true. Justice always prevails. Not if you don't try. True. I know that as the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, you will always stand on the side of justice. Ironic. There's a saying in Dutch, I don't know if it's English as well, but it says, A shot not taken is always missed. And it's a musket thing. <laughs> Look at that's in the background. Man, I can't wait to hear the story. I don't know what they're on about. What? Do you really think a cushy life in prison really constitutes justice for him? I mean, not really. I but... bet he could lead an extremely comfortable life in the fortress of Meripede. I'm sure so was that too. What are you trying to say? That he should die. <laughs> I've been observing you from a distance. Your portrayal of the musketeer was exquisite. <laughs> Pull the trigger of justice against him. <laughs> let the villain get what he deserves. Uh-huh. You want me to let you go so you may complete your revenge? Deal. <laughs> no, Officer Chavras. I know that would be impossible. I want you to do it for me. No. No. What I'd like is for Figured. you to perform the deed on my behalf. A face of shock? Why are you not even shocked? Were you just okay with this? Meanwhile, not far away. Oh, sure is <laughs> Very not time. far away. What could they be talking about anyway? Cookies, the sun, the fact we're weirdly staring at them, how their pools went, what they're gonna plan for 2024, <laughs> many different things. Mm, Paimon's worried. What if he decided to attack her? Then we'll jump in and protect her. I have full confidence in Chivalrous fighting skills. If anything, he's the one I'd be worried about. Yeah. Still, do you have any idea who the rich person might be? His dad. And why the novelist doesn't want us to hear what he's saying to Chevres? Because we're moles. Sorry to keep you waiting, you two. Oh my god, it's our sibling. Uh, don't worry about it. Hey, how did your talk go? You figure out who the rich person was you mentioned? What should we do next? I've already sent someone to escort Baptiste back to the headquarters Baptiste. for questioning. He wasn't lying about the musket. It was indeed buried in his backyard. Uh-huh. But what about the name? Did he tell you? <laughs> yes, he did. But for now, I have to return to the special patrol. Uh-oh. There are still a few loose ends I need to tie up. Okay. 
What's going on? It feels like she's keeping something from us. I'll probably be quite busy over the next few days, so apologies if you don't see me on set. Shivrita, why are you not telling me? All right. You don't I trust me? If you can't tell us everything you know. We'll just keep an eye on the steambird then. I'm a little bit sad, Shivrita. Actually, there's still something else I need your help with. All right, I guess I'll work from the shadows. The Lone Isle glimpsed through fog. I can't believe it just ended like that. Raid his house. He's not home. <laughs> hey, I wasn't standing here. I was standing way... Wait, that's his house. I was standing here. How is there... How is there fatus here now? Treasure boys. Oh my god, he's a treasure boy. Lucky. They're dead. Picked, Picked the wrong house. Oh, sorry. My bad, guys. I didn't know. We're waiting again. You know what's nice? I just love waiting. This mechanic is good. Oh, one minute before... Yeah, we'll do it. Scenic minute. Watch. Wait for it. Wait for it. Any minute now. Literally a minute. Dude, those 13 minutes? We stood there for 15 minutes almost? What the? Hmm. Besties. Since that night at Baptiste's place. Yeah, it was so long ago. Well, guess there's no point in worrying about it now. Let's go join up with the others. <laughs> really? <laughs> guess there's no point in worrying about it now. Man, I really hope Chevrolet is okay. We're meeting up here again. I'm- I'm actually- I feel the arc. We're gonna change the movie to reflect the real truth. Or like the real... more to it. Maybe. Hello, besties! Good morning! <laughs> I and I were just talking about you! Wait, that's such a coincidence, because we haven't worked together at all yet. Is Shepras still not joining us today? Whoa! Wait! What happened to you? Is this normal? Am I just crazy? Why does she look extra pale? Uh, probably not. We haven't seen her either. Maybe I'm just tripping. Huh? That, that's such a pity. Director Farina said that we've only got a few small scenes left before wrapping up the entire thing. It's fine, because we'll probably see each other at the premiere. She even said that she'll get me into a couple scenes. Oh. So everyone will have a chance to shine in front of the camera. I'm happy for you, Yoi. We were also planning on having a victory feast once we're all finished. A <laughs> victory feast. You can join us, right? Victory! Mm, only Chevros was here. I still haven't taken a photo with her. Aw. <sighs> I'm afraid that can't be helped. Those special patrol folks are like <laughs> phantoms when they've got a case on their hands. I really like both of them. Honestly, both new characters. But to be honest... She's so pretty, look I'm at her clothes! I'm more concerned by what I read in the Steambird earlier this morning. Mm -hmm. It said that the killer in the murder case was none other than the author of the Two Musketeers. It's true. Oh yeah, I heard about that too! He came forward and confessed his crimes, but mm -hmm. gave no explanation as to why he pulled the trigger. Well, he did, but a secret. We didn't know about this case at all when we joined the film. Is it going to affect the reception of our work? Maybe positively. From a pure publicity standpoint, this will I said this earlier a lot too. more attention to our film. Yeah. Uh, I have to say, though, that no director can be perfectly comfortable with garnering attention through things <laughs> other than artistic skill. But if it is through coinkidings, what can I do? To be fair, I feel like that ship sailed the moment you allowed yourself to be named as the director on our posters. <laughs> it's not my fault that I'm super popular. <laughs> I like what her. What was that saying again? My popularity has... No limits. ...sunk to an all-time low? <laughs> I love her. Of Sorry, I'm a Chiori fan. Where are the roses bloom? Alright then. Where do they bloom, huh? On top of the graves, I bet. Actually, they kind of did during uh, the Caribbean quest. There's gonna be a Caribbean quest kind of soon. Ooh, pretty place. Imagine my scenic uh, chest still here. Excuse me, everyone. Xavier, my friend. Xavier! Feels like it's been ages since we last saw you. Yeah, my man's been doing nothing all this time, I bet. I've been talking non-stop with the film <laughs> association, and I'm absolutely swamped trying to coordinate the film's marketing. I see. So forgive me for not being around more often. It's okay, dude. But please believe me what when I say bump? that I will make sure everyone's hard work gets the exposure it deserves. Well, we appreciate it, champ. Oh, seems like you've been fighting your own battles. Of course. <laughs> Everything <laughs> yes, for the that's movie. that's one way to put it. Oh, and before we begin the final round of filming, please allow me to finally introduce you to... Oh my god, it's him. It's the rich investor. <laughs> it's the dad. No! The original investor of our film, Mr. Morris. Mr. Morris, you're you're the dad, aren't you? Um, a pleasure to meet you all. Hey, Morris. Yes, 
Glad to make your acquaintance, Mr. Morris. We've heard about the issues you've encountered with your financial situation, and genuinely hope that things have taken a turn for the better. Is it because you've been spending it all on personal protection because the assassin you hired is dead? Oh, well, uh, the situation has uh, indeed improved somewhat. He's living in fear. Don't worry, Mr. Morris. Accidents and last minute challenges happen all the time. Hmm. There's no need to blame yourself over it. Not sure you're helping him out here. The good news is that we're almost done filming now, and... I would even say that this is the best story I've ever seen. He's not funding a story he doesn't know, right? He has to know it's about him. Is that so? Yeah, uh, he I does. see. That, that's that's great news. He's the dad. All right. Now that we've gotten all the pleasantries out of the way, let's get the show on the road. Yes. Are we'll gonna be mostly action? Be filming typical people and scenery from the streets today. To I like this. The sense of environmental ambiance in some parts of the film. Okay, she has some knowledge because this is so fun. Oh, <laughs> and there will be a cameo for Mr. Kamisato and Miss Yoimiya as well. And me? It'll be used to show outsider perspectives on the fates of the two musketeers. Hello, and me? That's right. Ayato should be here any minute. Oh my god. Excellent. Then let's start with the scenery shots. Camera and clapper loader. Uh, yep, we'll be ready. We're not even in a single shot Remember, of the movie. All we need are some wide zoom shots of the streets. Yeah. If you happen to find some particularly lovely patches of flowers and grass, feel free to grab some close-ups of those as well. You think I'm new to this? Ready? Light! Camera! Action! Let's go! <laughs> okay, now move the camera slowly. Cut, cut, sorry, sorry. Can you stop telling me how to do my job? I haven't been telling you how to do your job. Stop telling me how to do mine, okay? Thank you. Uh, try to focus on that flower. Take a close-up of it. Hmm? What's wrong? Just adjust the focal length a bit. I'm trying! Something the matter? Camera seems to be broken. It's not responding like usual. Uh, huh? But wasn't it working fine for all the days before? You've been tinkering with it, haven't you? Veronique, can we try a different camera? Vero, we need help. No problem. How about this one? Oh, she's on it. Damn. All right, let's give it another try. Light! <laughs> camera! Action! Let's go! Mechanical malfunctioning noises. Don't tell me. This one is broken too. Guys, I think we're sitting on an EMP. Veronique, do we have any <laughs> other spare ones we can use? <laughs> um, I'm afraid we only brought these two today. Aw, oh, man, we needed the wide shot camera. What? Then go find a workshop to get them repaired right Jeez, away. Jeez, calm oh, down, Farina. Oh, no. Go find our spare camera in the warehouse and bring it back to the set. Oh, my God. And she just nods as well. Greetings, everyone. Hello. My apologies for the delay. Yes. Hmm? Is something the matter, Ayaka? Oh, she's Farine's gonna be like, you ask her when I'm the. <laughs> it seems like there are some issues with the filming equipment today. Uh huh. We're stuck for the moment. We are. The cozy music has started playing, though. I see. Mm hmm. Well, let's not just stand here twiddling our thumbs. Actors to the makeup. <laughs> we'll start on the next scene as soon as we get a working camera. Yes. After some time, Veronique returns with a repaired camera. The people at the workshop told me that the part which holds the lens in place seemed to have fallen off. Mm. That's super <gasps> strange. It was perfectly fine just yesterday. Oh my god, what if the button is now a gun? Well, no time to dwell on that now. Let's get back to filming. Uh-huh. Ahem, quiet on set! Places, everyone! <laughs> Lights! Camera! Action! But my ambiance shots, though. Clap. By the way... Have you heard about that recent murder case? Person chatting in the street. Mm, Other yes, person I have. chatting in the street. It seems that they've caused quite the commotion in the city. Yes, us two with traditional Inazuma clothing in Fontaine. I heard that the chief of the guards is so mad about not catching the culprit that he's about to explode. <laughs> oh. I find that quite hard to imagine, considering how he already looks most days. Wow. Director, director, we have a problem. Oh no. Oh, we're in the middle of a take. <laughs> Couldn't you wait until we wrapped up this scene? <laughs> the angry cry. No, director, our film, all the finalized film that <gasps> we've been keeping in the case has disappeared. Oh, it's Jover. Oh wait, well, what did you say? Fine, boom. 
Dramatic. Mr. Bono, please take me to where the film was kept right away. Hurry. I'm coming too. No, Let's Julia, go. You have to stay here. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, listen up. Everyone who's not working on this current scene can go with Bono to look the film. Everyone else, stay put and wrap up the scene. But I'm working on the scene. Unbelievable. How could all these problems happen in just one day? It's not a coincidence. After some time, dot, dot, dot. We're back. Beautiful lighting. Oh, very, very quiet. Like, not worried. How did it go? Did you find the film? No. <laughs> we found it in the sewers. Oh, look at that. We did. Huh? In the sewers? Yes. Is the film still okay? Yes. We discovered it just in time, so we should still be able to salvage it. Wow. The others are checking now to see if we lost any specific scenes. I bet we lost the scene where they killed the they killed the the, the guy. Oh, you scared me for a moment there. I nearly <laughs> thought we had lost everything. <laughs> you had me the first half. I really don't want to experience that feeling of despair again. Oh. Okay, but who could have stolen this beautiful the film shot. and dumped it there? I mean, I know. Um, could it be uh, some competitors working on other films? Chevreuse walks up. It was I. But if they wanted to harass us, why wait until the last day? Because now it ruined a lot of work. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Which is we very heavily hinted at right now. Really look into it right now. Let's strike while the iron is still hot and wrap this thing up once and for all. All right. Yeah, let's finish it. Let's finish it. Thanks to everyone's efforts, you finally wrap up the final something. Even though unexpected situation problems struck during the filming process, you were able to. I can't read that I fast. I would like to officially announce that our entry to the festival, <sighs> The Two Musketeers, has now concluded filming. Applause, applause. Uh, I'm on his bed. It's so late already. And we still got a case to solve by Mita. Even though the filming process proved to be extremely challenging, yeah. everyone provided valuable and unique contributions to the final product. Very nice. Thank you all for your dedication and support. Thank you for your strictness. And just like director Farina, I would also like to extend my most heartfelt thanks to all of you. Especially the really, person that funds the film. It me so much. I just... No, don't cry. Alright, alright. <laughs> for later and hopefully also get some rehearsals in before the real thing rehearsals anyway now it's time to party <laughs> let's all make our way to the beach and have a celebration feast so loud and fun that even the blubber beast will want in and make sure to leave all the expensive equipment right here please hey, we're gonna hey, talk to everyone aren't we no talk to I, I i it's just listen I grew up with this game, all right. This is my bread and butter right here. Whoa, this Yo, is a Everyone's finally getting to relax after wrapping up the film. You getting this dude to speak Let's the truth, Yo, Mita? Have you ever seen a fireworks show, Mr. Morris? It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Goes bang, 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 and you get PTSD from it, don't you? Um, I'm afraid I haven't, but I'm, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, my man's mad suspicious. He is mad suspicious. You see what I see, don't you, Churi? This is turning out to be quite the party. You and I see it, right? I know. It's gonna be pooped. This is actually me at the party, <laughs> though. It's actually me at the party. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Xavier! I was Not thinking, quite if this film turns out to be a success, ah. could I ask the two of you to stay and be a part of my crew? Ah. Uh, of course, I'll definitely increase the pay for next time. Ah. I'd be more than happy to, Cute. Mr. Xavier. I, I, that's, Thank you that's for great. the offer, Mr. Oh. Xavier. But I've made some plans to wow. go on a journey to the other nations once the festival is over. Okay. Is that so? Well, What's then in here? that case, bon voyage, Miss Veronique. Bon voyage. Just feel free to get in touch once you've returned to Fontaine. Yes. Okay, what are those bubbles? Are they an actual thing? What's going on here? I had a blob of fish. Okay, I'm being so sus now. You see, I am an investigator before being an actor. I want to be an actor. What a lovely little table, Fufu. Farina! Farina! Fanta? Oh, my darling clapper motor and camera <laughs> operator. You both worked really hard. Okay, stop. They're being really sweet and I feel bad and mean for saying those things. Hyman thinks you worked even harder than us. Honestly, and screamed. Playing with the clapperboard by the end. <laughs> Worst of all, I'm 
Pokemon started having dreams of you shouting, Lights, camera, action! Into Paimon's ears. <laughs> the actual dream can't even start until you've yelled that! Wow. Uh, hey, <laughs> if anything, shouldn't I be more grand and delightful than your dreams? Maybe. <laughs> We've been through so much together, and that's how your brain remembers me? <laughs> uh, that, that's not Paimon's fault. Too much lately. <laughs> Going from no movies to only movies. Anyway, what's most important is that we wrapped the film. Uh huh. I'm pretty confident that we'll take first prize. <laughs> Not to pad the ego even more. The Farina Award. Hey, no need to mention the official name. Come on. Wait, now that you mention it, if we did win the prize, <laughs> Farina just get a statue of herself? Yes. Come on, I don't need that kind of attention. Mm -hmm. Xavier can accept the reward on our behalf. Why are you suddenly humble? But just imagine! Farina accepting the Farina Award and holding a Farina statue. <laughs> it, uh, I'm going back to my dessert now. Sure. You all can keep discussing that on your own. <laughs> I understand. Kind of dessert should I try next? Next? You've already had some? Leave some for the others. Get out of here. Try some Fanta. Fanta is like sweet and sparkly and stuff. This table is so cute. Look at this. In the moonlight? They were playing- Oh, they were playing TCG! They're really trying to market the hell out of this. Look at this. There's a TCG box. Cards. Dice. Hello there. Kamisato siblings. Mm -hmm. Everything went rather smoothly. Great. Thank you for your concern. I am a little bit sad we didn't get the. Well, maybe we were gonna get some crumbs of it. We didn't get any Ayato and, and Nur interacting more. It'd be cool. Ayato told me that we've already confirmed the dates for some Inazuma Fontaine cultural exchange events. That's great. That means we're gonna get like a spicy Iradori crossover or something. Also, I really need to relearn how to pronounce Ayaka and Ayato. So the next time we visit, we'll be doing so in our capacities as the representatives of the Yashiro Commission. Very nice. Oh! Maybe Paimon will be able to find Fontaine detective novels in Inazuma from now on. <laughs> yeah, he's snacking. Oh, wait. Wouldn't Paimon <laughs> get upset if that happens? No, that if she publishes them. Business. As long as they're sufficiently interesting. Uh, you've got a point. She's always complaining that light novels have become bland and too predictable after <laughs> all. The cultural exchange won't only feature literatures of both nations, of mm -hmm. course. We have also made plans Let me for cross-cultural engagements in the fields of gourmet cuisine, yeah. uh, toy making, Food, and of artisan craftsmanship. Toy making, I see. Yeah, arts and craftsmanship. Gotcha. Wow, Paimon's getting super excited now! I'm actually kind of looking forward to an Iridori again. When the time yeah. comes, be sure to visit... But first, the Lantern Rite! all the events. Lantern Rite. You know me, I love participating in many events. <sighs> I wish we could have spent some more time here. Don't worry. It won't be long before we're back again. Oh, really? <laughs> the biggest foreshadow ever. I like how, I don't know if they changed this, if it's intentional, but like, they don't really include you to it anymore. They just zoom into the characters you're looking at. Oh, here you are. Quite the party this has turned to. Chiori! You think so too, right? Hey, you two. You're aware. Are you not really into these kinds of big social occasions? I know I'm not. Uh, not particularly. But this is still better than Fontaine Fashion Week. <laughs> <laughs> but if this film becomes a big hit, people will definitely come flocking to your shop. Which she doesn't manage herself. Yes, that's highly likely. As long as the film can premiere as planned. Mm -hmm. Are you still worried about the case? Yes. That and all the obstacles we had to face today. No coincidence, right? Hmm. You're right. It's as if all our bad luck just manifested at once. Yep. But why today of all days? Uh huh. Hmm? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing. We've already. Been I'm with you. To the editors, so I'm... there should be nothing more to worry about. No, I'm with you. How are you doing, Mr. Morris? You having a good time? <laughs> well, you could say that. Uh, do you happen to know when the party is scheduled to end? Not until the late hours, my friend. <laughs> Judging by how much fun everyone's having, I'd see. Say Probably not until well after midnight. Is there something that you still have to take care of at home, Mr. Morris? <laughs> not at home, no. Oh, well, uh, I'm just not a late night person, so I might take off shortly. Trail him. Oh, no. Uh, silly me. 
I almost forgot something that's super important. <laughs> a rose. Oh, uh, what is it? Here you go, a rose for you. I prepared a whole batch of fireworks for oh. the party, but I forgot to bring them over from the warehouse. Help me carry them, sir. Fireworks, you say? <laughs> that's uh, truly a pity. Sorry things didn't go as planned. He's gonna rob them. Could you help me carry them over, Mr. Morris? <laughs> I won't be able to fetch all of them by myself. Aw, poor Yoi. Hey, uh, are you sure that you can't find anyone else? Don't, don't look at him. <laughs> I just wanted to make this surprise for everyone. The warehouse isn't far from here. We'll be there in no time. He's gonna knock Yoi out. Pretty please, Mr. Morris. These are some of the best fireworks I've ever made. <laughs> so I also want you to see them before you leave. Uh -oh. They're stunning. I promise that they'll be a once in a lifetime experience that you'll never forget. <laughs> Speaking of that. Uh, but. Yeah. It's okay. Just come with me. If we're sneaky enough, nobody else will see us leaving. <laughs> Yoi talking so much, he can't even slip in an excuse. <sighs> All right. <laughs> The warehouse is right over here. I'm Yoi. Works there in advance, so it shouldn't be too much work bringing them back. Uh, it's still a ways away from the party. I, I think he's gonna ditch us. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. I'm gonna Morris. wait see if I can talk to him as Yoi. It's probably because I'm used to carrying fireworks all the time, so it doesn't feel like a lot of work to me. Uh huh. Shh. Oh. Don't let anyone else see us. Oh. I still want it to be a surprise. Right. Sure, 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 sure. Who's that man? I don't really get to explore at all. It's like, you're Yoi Trial, but also not really. Oh, she has her bow and everything too. Enter the warehouse. How interesting. What's about to happen? I have obviously a very bad feeling. Oh, yeah. He's gonna lock our ass in. And we're gone. Oh. Why did I have to get roped into this? Holy shit. What was that? <laughs> You're being pranked. It's fine. We're good. Did you really think you'd get away? <laughs> you silly Billy. You, you got the wrong guy. It wasn't me. I, I'm not the killer. <laughs> you know. Eliza died a far more heroic death than this. Damn. She fought your assassin to the end to save the children she had hidden beneath the floorboards. Damn. A picture of her. That is Eliza's uh... pendant. The one with a photo of you two inside. The one you gave her. Ring any bells? It's Holy shit. There's no way. No way you're assassin. She's so cool, by the way. You mean? <laughs> You've got nowhere to back off to Did now. Did you ever love her, Morris? Or was killing her always the plan? No, 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 please. Listen to me. <laughs> What's this? I told Eliza to keep us a secret. Uh -huh. I paid her plenty for her silence. I never thought she'd keep the child. Wow. Everything was going to come out, and I had no choice. She forced my hand. What an absolute no. piece of I shit. You. I have money. Just, just name your price, please. You Justice. Can keep your mora and you can go to hell. Wow! What? Okay. It was just I'm a prop. Captain Shavraz of the Special Patrol. <laughs> You're under arrest for Eliza's murder. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Paimon. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Oh shit! No way. Under arrest too. Prop manager Veronique. What? Or perhaps I should call you the second musketeer. <laughs> okay, well I I did not expect that. Wait, what's going on? This wasn't in the script. Really? So he still had a sibling. And that's her? Drop the gun, Veronique. Holy shit. Why? Why would you keep me from exacting revenge on this heartless monster? Yeah. Drop your weapon. I kind of get this it. This is my final warning. But <laughs> I hate these situations, man. I understand both sides. What? What is going on? Do I have to spell it out for you, Morris? 
Everything that took place just now was staged to get you to confess the truth. Uh huh. But this last part is all improv, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist, bro! You told us you wanted us to help you stage a play. You never said anything about the second musketeer. I mean, that's probably what the what the brother told her then. It's because when we were gone. I had no way to confirm my theory until now. Right. Thank you for your performance, Yoimiya. Could I trouble you to go and bring in the other special patrol members? They should be on standby just outside. Uh huh. Oh, and please tell the other cast members not to worry about us. We'll be rejoining them shortly. <laughs> on it! Wow. I can't believe it. So, what do you think, Morris? Care to talk about what happened 20 years ago? <laughs> That's crazy. My patience is limited, you know. Don't force me to take you back to the interrogation room. I'd wager that you wouldn't last for more than a minute in there. <laughs> with the recording we made, you have no chance of winning in court. Yep. Cooperating with us now is the most practical move. Yep. All right. I'll talk. All right. I hired an assassin to murder Elisa. Cool. We got everything we needed. She once worked as a maid on my family's estate. She was very beautiful, and after some time, I fell for her. Uh huh. We kept our relationship a secret and carried out an affair for some time, but it wasn't long before she became pregnant. Okay. And if my parents ever found out, they would have stripped me of my inheritance and status, driven me out of my home. I think that would have been worth it, man. I also didn't expect Elisa to insist on bringing the pregnancy to term. She even asked me to leave my family and travel far, far away with her. Sounds like she was a wonderful woman. She believed that you were truly in love with her. Yeah. I didn't have a choice. Oh. I gave her a large sum of Mora, told her to leave the family and to get rid of the baby. Yeah, that's because that's something you can do to someone. But then years later, she sent me a letter that there were photos of two children and she even asked if I could find some time to visit them. Uh-huh. Crazy that she would say. That's crazy, no? Huh? Two children? I thought Baptiste was the only... Took you a bit. You mean... Took you a little bit, Paimita. Even if she had the children against your will... You could have just ignored the letter entirely. Why kill her? True. I had just gotten engaged to be married to an heiress from another wealthy family. Blech. So if anyone were to find out about Blech. this, my life would be completely ruined. I didn't have a choice. Oh, I don't like this man a single bit. No. You always had a choice. Yep. You just made the wrong choice. Again. Again. <laughs> <sighs> Idiot. Do you know how it feels to watch your mother be killed right in front of you? Yeah. My brother and I were hardly even school age yet. We were hidden beneath the floorboards, grasping each other's hands like a lifeline. Yeah. We were so terrified that we didn't even know we could ever take a breath. Mm -hmm. All we could do was to watch Mother try to fight back and then collapse to the floor. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't show the end to that. Even after the assassin left, we were still too terrified to leave our hiding spot. We thought that he might come back. Yeah. It was only until the next evening, when we finally climbed out and gathered around our mother. Mm -hmm. But she had already become cold and stiff to the touch. Yeah, no surprise there. You made up your mind right then and there to bring this case to light. Mm -hmm. Not only that, we resolved to get our revenge. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> And that's why you became the Musketeers. Uh-huh. No, that's why I became a Musketeer. The man from before was also killed by me. My brother had nothing to do with it. Ah. Uh. I figured as much. <laughs> uh, you did? I have no idea. <laughs> I once told these two that he didn't look like a killer to me. His confession from that night also rubbed me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I think what really tipped me off was... How could I not feel a sense of regret in him? So, it was what I said. She was right. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. He confessed faster than any criminal I've ever met. But he didn't say a single word about you. He insisted that he was the sole perpetrator in the case. Mm -hmm. But after the questioning ended, I disassembled the musket we dug up from his backyard, put it in front of him, <laughs> and told him to reassemble it. <laughs> Wanna guess how far he got? He screwed the barrel on. <laughs> He had no idea where to even start. Yeah. He's never touched a gun in his life. Right. Based on that, 
I determined that he was not acting alone. Mm -hmm. He only surrendered himself to draw our attention and create a moment of opportunity for his partner. So, I decided to play along. Right. And as expected, the second musketeer followed us without hesitation once she saw Morris get separated from the rest of the <laughs> cast. That's really cool. Besides, why else would he call the novel The Two Musketeers? Yeah, you kind of got yourself with that one. But wait, there's more, because it's three musketeers. How did you know it was Veronique? That was just coincidence, dude. I figured it out the moment Baptiste told me his father's name. Right. That so-called financial crisis was all just a ruse. He just wanted to sign up as the investor and then leave the film without any source of funding. So that the movie could never happen? After all, he has a vested interest in minimizing the reach of this story. Yeah. It's really just the same thing as what he did to Eliza all those years ago. Mm hmm Human scum. <laughs> yeah, that's justified. But then Xavier pulled out all the stops and got the film made against all odds. Yeah. Morris couldn't have that. So he was going to show up and destroy the movie. With the killer in custody, he figured it was safe to act. And so he came to visit the set today, just as I expected. Fair enough. Dude, there's so much murder, mystery, crime stuff in Fontaine. It's actually so cool. Wait, so you were behind all those mishaps today? Took you a bit, Paimon. <laughs> as for the identity of the second musketeer, I assumed they'd probably stay close to Morris and look for an opening. Right. And if they already knew that Morris was the film's investor, then that narrowed the list of potential suspects as well. Right, right, Furthermore, right. Being the props manager would allow the culprit to avoid scrutiny by purchasing mechanical parts in the name of the room. <laughs> With that hypothesis in mind, I went back to check Baptiste's orphanage adoption records. Guess whose name I saw on the same page. Our just dear a few lines from his. Veronique. <laughs> My brother. He trusted you. Uh-huh. <laughs> As in, he trusted me to perform the deed on his behalf? Yeah. He trusted you to stand on the side of justice. This is justice. I am. <laughs> yeah. I thought you could do it as well. Oh, the look on your face when you told him to go to hell. <laughs> I really <thought> you <laughs> They said hell. In his brain. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what he has done. Are you telling me that you'd rather see him spend the rest of his life living like a king in the fortress of Meripede? I never know the answer to this question, honestly. I will never be able to forget the feeling of my mother's cold, lifeless hands. And you would call this ending fair? Is this what you call justice? Yeah. Uh, you I don't know what the answer to this either. I won't lie, Veronique. I did hesitate when your brother first told me about the truth. Mm -hmm. I wondered. I agonized over whether I should really put a bullet in his head. This is crazy. This is a conversation in Genshin Impact right now. <laughs> so why don't you? Because that should never be how justice is carried out in this world. Yeah, thank you for wording it. Perhaps to you, justice is simply reciprocated. An eye for an eye and a life for a life. Yeah. But everyone has their own understanding of justice. If everyone were to pursue their own definition of it, mm -hmm. there would be no more order in this world. Yep. Today, you'll kill Morris. And tomorrow, his children may come for you. Infinite chain. The world cannot render judgments based on a desire for revenge. That will only lead to a cycle of revenge. Yeah. As well as the destruction of order and civilized society. Zhang Li would not want that. Fontaine is founded on a set of laws and a standardized code of justice. That is why we are the nation of justice. Uh-huh. But with all that said, I will promise you this. <laughs> Morris will not lead a cushy life in the fortress of Meripede. He will go to worse. Chivalrous? The rest of the special patrol is here. Ah, about time. Thank you so much, Yoimiya. Letelier, Terena, please take them away. Letelier kind of MVP, though. She everywhere. She doing all the dirty work. Champion. He's gonna fight back. I still can't agree with your reasoning. Uh huh. Well, you're going to jail as well. So, see ya. Justice has not been delivered. At least, not today. Not yet. Shivers. No, no, no. Let's go. Don't go killing him now. We should give an explanation to the crew. You okay? I think you made the right call. Thank you for your concern. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just thinking. About the things in life that have driven people to take justice into their own hands. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough. You explain everything that happened to the rest of the crew. 
who wasn't aware only only we were wait so even our our fashion designer wasn't aware she had a gut feeling of course Morris but would turn out to be uh, I'm at a loss of words how could he have done something like this oh wait she was aware from the get-go she said him you was she told him you was sus at the very first act actually I'm just glad that you're all safe and sound who knew that such a labyrinth of cases would be behind this story she did right there she did well what should we do now <laughs> we have a finished film of course but should we still go ahead with the premiere we should tweak it what do you mean shouldn't you be even more motivated to spread the word now that you've learned the truth i like her Giori is right i'd also like more people to see this story for themselves but i really want the ending to be tweaked with chevre's words so that people know that justice isn't revenge but the real ending of the story seems to have deviated thank you from the one in the script Thank you. Is that still acceptable to you, Miss Chevres? No. Mm -hmm. No. Reshoot it. The call is yours. We still have time to reshoot an ending if that's I knew what it. you'd like. Freaking knew it, dude. No, it's fine as is. Really? I like what we have for the catharsis. Really? All right. Romanticism is what gives works of art their appeal. That's true. Fiction is able to explore means of restitution that could never work in real life. That's true. Just like the real world, the world of stories also has its own set of rules and justice. Sure. These different possibilities are what initially drew me to reading in the first place. I get that. Sounds good to me. I support your decision. <laughs> Less work for me. <laughs> what about Veronique? Will she be okay? Oh, well, she's also going to be in jail, but not for as long. She will soon face her judgment alongside her brother and Morris. Attempted murder. If I had to guess, they'll probably all be sent to the fortress of Meripede. Yeah. I'll make sure to give Risley a heads up about it. Nice. Oh, you mean that kind of heads up? <laughs> what kind of heads up? Exactly. That they get treated decent, that he gets treated like dog? Ahem. Mm -hmm. All right, then the matter's settled. Great job, now everybody. Now taken care of, there's no reason for us to keep looking all gloomy and grumpy. Uh-huh. Let's get back to the feast and enjoy each other's company. We'll be starting the post-production process tomorrow. Oh no, not editing. You should join us, Chavros. I'm gonna edit this tomorrow. You missed the first few hours of the party, didn't you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> then I'll wait for you over there. Really? There's still some good news that I'd like to share with Chevras. What? Traveler, Paimon. Could you wait for me by the sea after the party ends? What? I'd like to go on a brief walk with the two of you. Uh, yeah, of course. See you then. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Am I gonna have to talk to everybody again? Xavier's <laughs> you're just sitting there traumatized. He's like, your deck sucks, Xavier. You? you should really start playing Kazuo. It's really good. So there were no fireworks <laughs> at all. No surprise, what? Not very emo little party, we'll say. It was just kind of... Sorry for the wait. Kind of classic. No worries. Oh, we weren't waiting long at all. Is there something else you wanted to tell us? Yeah, probably what the dude told her, no? No, I don't have anything new to share. Oh. I just felt that since you were my investigation partners, I should have another conversation with the two of you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Traveler, how would you have responded to Baptiste's request if you were in my shoes? I would have done the same as you. Is that so? Yes. Oh, well, thanks for sharing. You know, the thing is, th the fact they're asking this makes me believe maybe at the end of the game, there's a decision where you can like, I don't know if it'll be your sibling or whoever, or like the unknown god, imagine that. Imagine a decision between killing the unknown god or sparing the unknown god or whatever. Imagine that. How, how spicy would that be? When I was young, my father often took me here to swim. Mm -hmm. We'd come rain or shine, even when it was freezing cold. Yeah. He told me that swimming was the best activity to train one's strength of will. <laughs> you could never give up before reaching the shore. It's true. Especially when the water was cold. Yep. Oh? Why's that? Well, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> because the moment you give up would be the moment you die. <laughs> yeah. At that point, I still hadn't received my vision. Uh-huh. One winter, the chilly wind felt almost like knives on my skin. Mm -hmm. And the seawater was so frigid that it numbed my toes oh. the moment I stepped in. Lovely. I cried and begged my father to spare me from having to swim across, but he wouldn't listen. He used to be a member of the special patrol as well. Mm -hmm. You could say it was his way of educating his children. Tough love. That sounds awful. Yeah, but it, she learned a lesson. When he saw that I wouldn't stop crying, he just picked me up and tossed me into the icy water. <laughs> what a piece of shit. The bone chilling cold took away my senses. I couldn't feel anything but fear and rage. Uh huh. I waited for my father to save me, but 
One look and I knew we'd already started swimming for the opposite shore. Wow. I realized that if I were to give up, I really would die right then and there. Uh-huh. I used all of my strength to try and catch up to my father. Those few minutes felt longer than my whole life up until that point. Fair enough. I did, however, make it to the other side. And then you killed him. <laughs> and then the story's full circle. I've never felt afraid about anything in my life after that. Yeah. Nor have I ever cried again. Not sure if that's great. That way of teaching would have never worked on Paimon. Yeah, she almost did drown. Yeah, I don't think that was the right method for anyone. Yeah, I'd agree. It's just that working now as I am in the pursuit of justice, I still sometimes feel like I've been tossed into that winter sea all over again. Mm -hmm. The anger and the helplessness. It takes a lot of mental fortitude to deal with this kind of stuff, for sure. Chevres. Yeah. But the worse I feel, the more I know to never give up. Yes. The alternative would be to forever lose myself among the waves. Now that's the mindset, Queen. Anyway, how about a race? Neither of us will yeah. drown, but we can still see who swims faster. Uh, easy. Uh, you guys go ahead. <laughs> I will grab the climber board to mark the start of the race. Great. Let me actually do this. Yo? No way. Oh, I can be here again. Final warning. Let me test. Yes. Oh my god, you actually get to. No way. Wait. I'm, I'm spoiling myself. Maybe I shouldn't. I really want to see the burst that this dude's been spinning for a while. I thought it was Chivalrous for a second. I was like, wait. The bean has a gun now? Bang. Dude, this is cool. I'm gonna use the burst. Whatever. I'm here now. Oh, of course. Noblesse. Love to see it. C3. Wait, I'm actually getting drops? No! No, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I lost the burst, I bet, as well. Sorry for the wait. It's okay. I ruined it. Moments. It's okay. I'll race as you, because then we're even. Then it's not unfair, right? That's how it works. This is the swimming contest? Really? I'm I'm swimming into ducks. How far is this range? I wonder. It's decent. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Sorry, I aggroed some stuff. You were so fast in the water, Chevrolet. Oh no. You were swimming even faster than oh, Pima no. can fly. <laughs> you were. I'm scared. Uh, so about the special patrol. Did you join because of your dad? Uh, for justice. Partly. But I'd say I was more inspired Ow. by the heroes I read about in stories growing up. <laughs> I need a hero right now! Oh, so it's due to your love of stories! Yes, I love stories too. Of course, it was only after I joined the Special Patrol that I learned that truth is often stranger than fiction. This is- I've heard this before and I will agree. Come on, let's walk a bit more. Please, I need it. <laughs> Thank you. To be honest, I do sometimes question whether the decisions I make are the right ones. Oh, we're fine. But I know that yeah. no matter what, I must keep swimming. You're right. I like this mindset we've had I've lately. Got my eyes on is the shore in the distance. Yeah, right or wrong. It, I mean, of course you want to make the right decision, but if you don't stand a choice, or if you don't have a choice, you make one. You can't sit there and regret it eternally. You gotta move on at some point. Careful of the birds. They're scary birds. Thank you for coming on this walk with me. Of course. I feel a lot better after getting all that off my chest. Anytime. Huh. We're nearly back at Baptiste's house. Uh-huh. Sure are. Huh. You're right. I didn't realize we were so close. Well, Mans doesn't live very far from where we're partying. He really did plant a lot of flowers. Yeah. It's just like how he described it in the story. Yeah. Huh? <gasps> Wait. Paimon. Traveler. Look. Are the flowers blooming? The rainbow roses in the garden. <laughs> They're in full bloom now. Of course they would be. Where the roses bloom, act four, complete. There's one more, I believe. The two musketeers triumph. Wait until two days later. Even though it's a bit late. They triumph, guys. Thank you for investigating this case with me. Of course, anytime. Not on behalf of the special patrol this time. Uh-huh. It's a personal expression of gratitude from yours truly. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> about your fam? Oh, you want to hear more about my father? How about your mom? To be honest... I didn't spend that much time with him. He was always busy with the special patrol, so yeah. he would often return home really late at night. Yeah. Some nights, he didn't come home at all. Fair enough. Once, he didn't come home for a long time. Maybe a whole week or so. Yeah. When I went out to buy food, I learned that he had become a criminal. And what? And by extension, that made me a criminal's daughter. You're joking. That Because I was going to say it doesn't make sense that you were living in the Fleuve Sandré with all the 
all the crimmies that you grew up there if your dad was part of the patrol that's insane but we can talk about that another day yeah we'll, we'll have your hangout at some point i'm sorry uh, about the f case. I actually have a lot of sympathy for Veronique and Baptiste. Yeah. I can understand the hatred they feel for their father. I can imagine. But that doesn't mean I'll allow them to walk the path of evil. I respect Even if that. it might lead to another sense of justice. Your champion. About the film. Films are different from the real world. I wonder if we see the film They're at some point. They're a form point. of art and represent the wishes in people's hearts. Yeah. I adore the two musketeers, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy to have had the opportunity <laughs> to act the role as one. You'd almost forget. I can't wait to catch the film when it premieres in the Opera House. Me too. I'm looking forward to seeing the audience's reaction to the climactic ending. Me too. Please take care, Chivalis. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll see you at the award ceremony. Uh huh. I'd be very surprised if we don't. Win. <laughs> wow, I respect. I respect the confidence. I like it a lot. Okay, I uh, myself also have been investigating for quite a while. And I'll be right back with the last bit in just a second. My legs are so cold, I'm freezing. The last day, go to the film festival. Here we are. My voice is tired. <laughs> this is actually what it's like. I recorded the whole last movie, guys. Oh, I'm here. So more time passes after that. Two, after two days, even more, the film was a successful premiere. And the musket murder case also successfully comes to an end. They did say that the two musketeers won in the end, so... Dude, look at her. She looking fancy with that tiny hat on the side. I don't know how it's not falling. Hey there, you two. Sorry I've been Exav. scarce. I've been buried in marketing and preparing the film for release ever since we wrapped post-production. Look at you. The award ceremony is today, right? Oh. I don't wonder if we'll win the Farina Award. Oh. I'd give it a 90% chance. <laughs> Arrogant as always. Welcome back, Farina. Farina! You are. I'm sure the others will also Unusual. be here in no time. Uh, hmm. Xavier, if we end up getting called on stage, uh -huh. shouldn't you come up with a name for our crew? The Farina's famous. Well, uh, but we don't even know if we're going to win. <laughs> I wouldn't want to jinx our chances by celebrating early. I'm known to jinx, so I wouldn't say anything. I did just make up a name, though. Surely you've seen the audience's reactions to our film. Yeah, dude. We've had nothing but critical acclaim. Yeah, dude. And we're still going to lose. You've also had conversations with the Opera House's operating staff, right? Didn't they want to increase the number of shows? <laughs> with the more you've made from the box office, you can Whoa. now open your very own film company. Or pay your actors. But that's all credit to my amazing crew. Ah, you've all there had you to go. Make this a reality, my amazing crew. So I can't be the only one asked to come up with a name. Oh, my choice. Well, give it some thought. I'm sure the crew will respect your choice. Yeah, it's true. Farina's right, famous. Before that, oh. Traveler and Paimon, could I trouble you to quickly yeah. pay a visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Lovely. I love going to jail all the time, man. Huh? But shouldn't we stay for the award ceremony? Now we're going to go get the siblings. I wanted to ask you two to invite Shavras to join us at the ceremony. Oh. She's one of the lead roles, after all. She's there? I haven't been able to find her recently, so I haven't had the chance to invite her personally. Fair enough. According to the papers, the culprits of the musket murder case will be personally escorted today by the captain of the special patrol to the fortress of Merope. Well, they're not in prison yet. Okay. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Sure. It'll be a piece of cake for us, just like Farina loves. Yep, just wait here, Xavier. And maybe try to come up with a few snappy-sounding names. I'm excited to hear those. All right, then I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Guys, will we really win an award? Shut up. Trust me. <laughs> when have I ever been wrong about something like this? Well, probably never because you've never had the chance to be wrong about something like this. Yo, look at this little door icon. Though. What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? You guys hanging out here? That's crazy. All right, I'm in. Hello, Vraiotsli. Vraiotsli, je suis là. Vraiotsli. This is as far as I'll be taking them. My friend. I'll leave the three of them to you now. You know who the good guys are, right? Got another errand to run? Yeah. Got something a like trophy that? to pick up. I'm expected at a party. Banger. Now that's something you don't hear every day. Found a new pastime? Acting. No, it's just a special occasion. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! It's us. We invite ourselves to your prison all the time. It feels very not secure with how easily we get in and out. Festivals really do bring people together. It's been a while since I last had so many visitors at the Fortress of Meripede. Uh-huh. Call it the festival spirit, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could say Chrisman. that. Chrisman. 
Even our head nurse has gotten herself all worked up preparing super really? deluxe nutritious shakes. Lovely. Just one gulp and you'll have met all your nutrition needs. And all your tasteful snacks. Were you talking about work just now? Yes. We've already finished discussing everything. So, what do you think about my heads up, Mr. Rise? I want to hear the heads up. Hmm. I believe I haven't yet made any promises or guarantees. <laughs> uh-huh. But you also didn't shoot me down. Uh-huh. Here. How about this? Shut me you down. You could maybe? give everyone a copy of the newspaper. Perhaps on the day when the cover story happens to <laughs> oh, I don't know, expose a certain <laughs> someone's misdeeds from twenty years ago. Yeah, see, so they'll be in good light and he'll be in shit light. Hmm. I suppose then a certain someone may soon find himself <laughs> the most unlucky person in the fortress of Meripede. No surprise here. While another two people will soon be hailed as heroes. Very nice. Speaking of heroes, did you two need something from me? No. Okay, fine. You're here to invite me to the party, right? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. We're not inviting him too, right? Ooh, then let's head back right away. Okay. See that was nice and easy. Happy Fontanalia Festival. Fontanalia and Festival. To you. I wonder if we're gonna have another Fontanalia Festival ever again in the history of Genshin. You got anything to say? Please. Go and enjoy the festival. Please, get off my desk. <laughs> They're all so raw today. No one's really, really getting into it or anything. It's kind of a shame. Anyway, let's go back now. There are some of the characters standing around at places. So Chivalrous had that one spot we already talked to her at. Maybe there's more. I'll look it up. And the winner of the Farina Award for the first oh. Film Festival is... Oh, dude. Our whole crew is here. We take up half the crowd. Oh, look at this little girl. Cute. The two Whoa, let's go. That That is so cool. Do we get that for the teapot? <laughs> Act surprised. Congratulations, Mr. Xavier. Congrats, Xavier. I hope you can get a rounder chin after this. We won? Oh, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I, I really can't thank all of you enough. Out of the three participants, how great, how lovely. She looks great on stage, by the way. See? My takes on Fontaine's entertainment industry have <laughs> never been wrong. <laughs> now, please welcome to the stage the producer of the Two Musketeers, Mr. Xavier! Xavier, woo! Woo! Oh, they're still applauding more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all so much for your recognition and support. Uh huh. While I'm up here, I would love to give special thanks to. No, 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 no. Time really flies, huh? Wow. Oh, he, we're not even listening to it. It certainly oh. feels that way. It feels like personal it was only combo. yesterday when you were teaching me to hold a musket. It was actually today. Will you come back to Fontaine again? Oh. Of course. <laughs> I'm very fond of the city. There's so many novel so and sweet. interesting things. That it's been hard to keep track of them all. Uh huh. But how Ayato's about gonna be you? happy. Would you be interested in visiting Inazuma? Oh. I can't say the thought has crossed my mind before, but I'd be <laughs> willing to consider it now. Uh huh. I will be eagerly awaiting your visit. It would be wonderful if you could visit my home, and enjoy a taste of our tea and desserts. Right. Yeah, let's keep in touch. Cute. Did you accomplish all you came here for? <laughs> yes. I like his little recap we talk. Inazuma again sometime. Yes, we miss you there. How has Ogura and her business been? Quite wonderful. To my knowledge, she's doing quite well. Is Ogura the kimono maker? Tell her I said hi. <laughs> I certainly will. <laughs> I heard the thunderstorm has stopped. <laughs> this is like the snappiest convo. Yes, and the war has also been brought to an end. Peace and prosperity has returned to the islands. And it's all thanks to them. I points quite to like us. the sound of that. Perfect for hanging textiles out to dry. You know, speaking of that, I actually had my clothes out today and it was raining and so moist the entire day. It was not good. I'd like to offer my thanks again to the entire cast and crew. Of course, because I... Without I've... you, I would have never completed this film, much less had the opportunity to be standing on this stage. <laughs> With the support he's, he's the most likable he's ever been, though. I would like to officially announce our film company, Aww. Musketeer Pictures. All right, all right. Cool honor. <laughs> that has a really nice ring to it. That's kind of cool, not going to lie. Case, let's please welcome all the members of Musketeer Pictures onto the stage. As the whole crowd photo. walks up. Oh, Paimon didn't know he'd also be 
taking pictures. Whoa. Director Farina, I believe you are the most deserving person for Farina is the Farina trophy. trophy. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's so embarrassing. It's okay. It's an honor the director deserves. It's true. It's true, director. Yes, I agree. I agree as well, director. Just accept that you're not getting out of this. <laughs> Ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Cute pose. Cheese. No, that does not cheese. Musketeer pictures is not a cute thing to say, guys. Now that. That's great. <laughs> Aww. This is so nice. Man. Yeah. I love it. There you go. Musketeers triumph. We've done it. There's the picture. Let me have a little little under chin time with the with the picture here. <laughs> this is so ugly to mean. You can't be doing this pose here. It's beautiful. And Farina in the corner too. Lady Farina, please allow me to take just one more photo <laughs> with you. I would also love to get your autograph. Full just time. A memento of our time together on the crew. Go full time work for him. Hey, I've had enough of the camera flashes from when we were all up on stage. Wow. But, but Lady Farina, you are <laughs> the best director I've ever met. The My most man. photogenic maiden in all of Fontaine. It's true though. This kind of lively and celebratory setting is exactly celebratory. where you shine. I believe all photographers would agree. Mm -hmm. Come, the brightest star of our land. <laughs> Show us your light. The camera Xavier, is waiting shut to up, see man. praises of your beauty. You're going too far now. Well, I'm flattered, but... Uh, but... Snap. <sighs> All right. Wow. I'll humor you. Wow. You more different poses. Okay, respectable. But I don't have to hold the trophy, right? No, don't worry about it. Uh, of course. You may pose however you like. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. By the heavens, my yeah. luck has been beyond belief. Yeah. I'm having a hard time coming to terms with it now. I'm sure you must have been a good guy, because your karma been real positive lately. Ever since they met us, really. Trial or treat. Get him, Queen! Get those treats! Oh man. I love how it looks here, this little plane. I'm really sad it's gonna stop looking so cool in a little bit. I'll be doing these minigames soon as well. Maybe it's worth a video. I kind of miss doing minigames and videos, guys. I really do. So I think I'll do the Sealy one. Maybe it's new mechanics. Who knows? Miss Yoimiya, we haven't had the chance to talk, but please accept my thanks for everything you've done over the past few days. Nah. Oh? I feel like I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. You had the important speech with the bad guy. I'm very grateful for your assistance during that special performance in the warehouse. Yeah. It was always going to be somewhat risky to engage and draw away Morris all on your own. I, we love it. You're only a civilian and have never been trained to act in such a dangerous situation. Don't call her just a civilian, all right? She's the best at killing the electro hydro thing. Don't say it like that. As the director's assistant, it was my duty to help out the crew however I could. It was an honor to help you solve the case. Aww. I have to admit, though, my heart was thumping super hard the entire time it was laying on the ground. Oh, I was scared that everyone would notice. <laughs> well, you're a good actor. You did great. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, if you ever visit Inazuma, <laughs> please come and pay a visit to Nagana Horror Fireworks. I'll make some fireworks for you. I even know what shape we'd make. This has to happen. They're talking about it so much. I'm guessing a musket. Yeah, I would have guessed that too. <laughs> Telling you now would ruin the surprise. Wow. If you really want to see it, just come and visit me. Deal. Trial or treat. Wait, you're an old woman. You can't play along with trial or treat. That's not old woman thing. You know what? It doesn't matter. Shut up. Everyone can participate, even if you're old and you like treats and you're old. I want to talk to the, the guard she always sent to do things. Petit Lumière. Small light, my man's name. Well then, guys, Fontanali Festival was pretty great. I was wondering if this was the siblings, but no. Ayato! What's up, Ayato? Hey, oh. bud. I didn't expect to meet you here. What you sipping on, dude? I've been told that this is a beverage called Fanta. Uh-huh. I quite like its unique taste. D believe it or not, I helped design it. The slogan, a font of refreshment, is yeah. rather catchy as well. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to wonder if I could incorporate it into our cultural exchange initiative. Nah, don't become, don't become a marketing specialist. What would happen if we were to add some sprigs of mint into Fanta? Oh, it's so over. I believe this is an idea worth testing. It's so over. Yeah, mint, mint and, and coke together, dude. Mentos and coke, good idea. Or Try that. We could even take it one step further and mix in an equal amount of milk tea medley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> uh, but for some reason, I suspect that experiment wouldn't turn out well. Try Sprite with banana. <laughs> Thanks to you, 
The film was successfully completed, and the Yashiro Commission secured a collaboration oh. project with the Palais Mermonia. Did you turn off the lights? If another opportunity was to arise in the future, mm -hmm. perhaps I should take on the chance to act as the protagonist. You're always so backgroundy, man. Or perhaps you think the role of villain would fit me better. What are you? What are you insinuating, old man? Have a safe trip, man. Thank you for the well wishes. I will take good care of Ayaka and Yoimiya. You better. I would like to wish or you else. safe travels on your next journey as well. Yeah, that's right. You better be careful, Chief. I got your back, though. <laughs> so it's her shop, after all. I wasn't sure. I thought it was the girl that we spoke to doing the other thing. And now it makes sense that these ladies are standing here just staring at her. Hey, Shuri. Huh, it's you. Is there something I can help you with? About your boutique. Interested in our couture services? Yes. Just give me the word. Word. Thanks to you, we were also able to premiere the film in time. <laughs> its success has increased the reach of my brand. I'm happy for you, but we didn't really do anything. There's no need to be humble. You helped Xavier and Chavras. And even <laughs> Kirara's told me many good things about you. Uh. They are all my friends. Kirara, thank you. You've done far more than what you give yourself credit for. Thank you. About your work. I am merely a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything else I moonlight as. Mm -hmm. But when you run a business, it's inevitable that as you make more friends, yeah. you also encounter all sorts of thorny issues. If you say so. If you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sure. It's just the common sense of business. I'll scratch her back. Xavier is over the moon now that he's actually won the Farina Award. Yep. Maybe I'll actually find him in the fountain the next time I see him. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. The demand for couture at my boutique has also increased. Uh huh. So much so that I don't have enough staff to handle it. I can help you with some more. Looks like I'm one step closer to achieving my dream. What? Having a bigger business than your money can handle? Anyway, you will always be welcome at Chioria Boutique. Super sweet. I would love to see you both again at the upcoming Fontaine Fashion Week. As Please well. give us a skin. I beg. It'd be so cool. I don't have any more questions. Okay. See you around. I would be willing to stop being free to play if a Lumine skin came out. I'm saying it. Here, it's on record. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck. Thank God for no drowning. No surprise she's here. Hey, you turned around for me. What? You waved? What? They added so much small detail. I love this small detail. I'm so glad we were able to complete the film. Uh-huh. Thanks for taking care of me while I was here. Your acting was amazing. Really? Thank you. Yeah. At first... I simply tried to work hard out of a desire to not become a burden to the crew. Right. It would have been so embarrassing if the filming had to stop to accommodate my lack of skills. So true, Bessie. But director Farina was both patient and knowledgeable. Patient? And Shavras and Elaine taught me a lot about the scenes and details. Uh-huh. It was all thanks to their help that I was able to grow comfortable with the role. It's a good crew. And even with all of that said, I still got a little flustered with praise <laughs> especially since everyone including you were complimenting me at the end i just did again i'm so sorry it's cool though i, I hope we do get to see maybe a cutscene or something of the sort eventually with the movie uh but i guess we can we can get the gist of it we did film it after all we saw the whole thing you have a good time yes i visited many places with yoimiya in between the filming sessions very nice the elegant streets the beautiful flowers and greenery. Yeah. And the dreamlike underwater world. Mm -hmm. Everything I saw was shine like stars in my memories. <laughs> it also brings me joy to think that perhaps you've marveled at those exact wonders as well. Of course. All the time. The stars and things. Um, anyway. Thank you for your hard work. <sighs> it's we'll keep complimenting her. It's all we're doing. I don't often have the opportunity to wander out into the world like this. Mm -hmm. Not only did I make many new friends during this trip, I also picked up many new skills from everyone around me. Yep. I will cherish this experience greatly. That's what we love to hear. Oh, and I'm also going to bring some conch madeleines back to the Yashio oh. Commission as a gift. Good pronunciation. If we could enjoy them with some coffee... <laughs> Perhaps it'll feel as if I'd never left Fontaine at all. You know, bringing snacks from the place you are, very smart. And I just bake them yourself. Have a safe and relaxing trip home. Mm-hmm. Thank you for looking out for me. Of course. Please do take care of yourself during your adventures as well. I always do, you if know me. stars align, we'll see each other in Inazuma again. All this star stuff, man. Ugh, I need a seat. Uh, uh, whew. This classical music reminds me of the New Year's concert. I watch it every first of the New Year. 
<laughs> Super duper invincible shining sparkly magic crystal is duct tape. <laughs> now that's a great meme. Ultimate Overlord's Mega Magic Sword. This is very cute. I feel like it has nothing to do with the event now that I've finished it. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this story quest, this event story quest. It was incredible. I liked it a lot. I really like the new characters. They have already been put into great light for me, and I can't wait for them to come out and for us to try them out, and I can't wait to figure out what Chevreuse's Burst is, because we failed it twice, which... Honestly, I'm not that sad about because now I'm even more excited for when she does release, which isn't in that long, I believe. Anyway, thank you so much for catching up with this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And, of course, I will see you very soon with Lantern, right? Happy 2024. It's going to be a great year, I can tell. And thank you for your patience with everything. Lots of love, and I'll see you very soon with more. Bye-bye.